Chapter 1481 Book of Death Translator Born to be Long Chen was extremely surprised to see people supporting him. He wasn't friends with them, so he found it almost inconceivable. Long Chen, I trust you. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, you fought countless bloody battles, putting your life on the line to protect your brothers and sisters without even frowning. You're the pride of us backgroundless people. How could someone who cares so much about relationships destroy their own sect? You're definitely falsely accused, protested someone. In just his few years since arriving in the Central Plains, Long Chen had fought consecutive large battles that had shaken the entire eastern Xuan region. In particular, the battles of the Eastern Sea, the Grand Xia Ancient Nation, and Devil Spirit Mountain. Now, his name was known throughout the eastern Xuan region. Long Chen had long since become an idol for disciples who came from ordinary backgrounds. Through his hard work, he had gone from an ordinary mortal to his current height. He had grown into a legend. Compared to those geniuses who relied on the power of their sect or the connections of their family, they felt more in touch with Long Chen and felt more admiration for him. It was just that compared to the experts who were jealous and thus resentful of him, they numbered far too few. Bastards. You've all gone insane. Do you want to support a murderous devil? Do you want to die along with Long Chen? Roared someone at the people supporting Long Chen. Thank you for your kindness. I'd ask that you no longer speak and back up a bit. It'd be best if you weren't splashed with blood. Long Chen cupped his fists to them. He didn't need their help. If they became too impassioned, they might draw the ire of others. If they were suddenly attacked by the crowd, in a chaotic scene like this, he wouldn't be able to protect them. He'd feel guilty to kill the people who supported him, so he just needed them to back up. He didn't want their help. However, their cries did comfort his heart slightly. This slight feeling of warmth was especially touching in this particular situation. Arrogant. Stop right there. It's time for you to face your trial. The middle-aged man with the gourd suddenly vanished, appearing in front of Long Chen. Your first sentence was right, so I won't retort it. Your second one will be decided by your power. As for your third sentence, someone who can put me on trial hasn't been born yet. Long Chen smiled coldly and continued advancing, going straight toward the middle-aged man. Long Chen's voice was full of confidence, and he was determined to advance regardless of any obstacles. That confidence made his words undoubtable. Arrogant brat, since you refuse to change your ways, don't blame me for being vicious. The middle-aged man smacked his gourd, and its runes lit up. Rays of light shot out, transforming into millions of sharp blades. Each of these blades tore through space with an unpleasant screeching sound. The people spectating all felt a chill. The sharp aura coming from these blades made their skins turn cold. What a hypocrite. Whether or not I changed my ways, you would still attack, and as viciously as you could at that. If you want to attack, then just attack. Do you have to make up an excuse sneered Long Chen. He stamped down on the ground, flying into the air and smashing the pot down. The countless sharp blades were smashed apart by the pot. Those incredibly sharp swords were unable to damage the seemingly ordinary pot. That pot's definitely a priceless treasure. People stared at that pot with greed. HMPH. So what if you have a priceless treasure? How much spiritual yuan could you possibly have to use it with? Let me see how you plan to block my endless flying swords. The middle-aged man sneered and an unending torrent of flying swords flew out of his gourd. He was actually fighting a battle of attrition with Long Chen. How shameless. The Grand Gourd Island Master is playing a game of attrition against a Jade Core disciple? If I were you, I would just kill myself out of shame, cried someone from the crowd. The middle-aged man's expression became extremely unsightly, but he acted like he didn't hear as he couldn't get distracted. In truth. The person shouting was not on Long Chen's side. Instead, it was simply a matter of a spectator wanting to see more excitement. He intentionally provoked the middle-aged man to make him fight at full power. If a life star expert planned on slowly exhausting a Jade Core disciple to death, the battle would be boring. They wanted to watch an intense clash. To these people, whether it was the middle-aged man or Long Chen who died, it didn't matter. All they wanted was a fun fight to watch. That was because even if Long Chen was killed, 
the good stuff he was carrying wouldn't be theirs anyway. So their attitude was quite normal. They didn't dare to provoke Long Chen anymore, but they didn't mind provoking this middle-aged man. Long Chen enlarged the pot, forming a 30-meter shield in front of him. No matter how those flying swords attacked the pot, the pot wasn't harmed in the slightest. Instead, the flying swords exploded one by one. Just like that, Long Chen continued walking forward. The middle-aged man rained down the flying swords, but he began to retreat. The sky full of flying lights was impressive or looking, but he was unable to do anything to Long Chen. You dog shit island master, is the only thing in your gourd shit. Do you only have this much ability? If you keep retreating, won't you retreat all the way out of the eastern Xuan city? Mocked someone impatiently. By this time, news that Long Chen was here had spread out of the eastern Xuan city and its four transportation formations were constantly being activated as countless powers began to send people here. More and more life star experts were arriving, and soul transformation experts were no longer even qualified to get close. They could only retreat into the distance. Shut up. I'm simply trying to capture Long Chen alive. Li Qingxin, don't act so pompous, roared the middle-aged man angrily. Even the Divine Wind Gate's master, Li Qingxin, has come. But why would he start arguing with that fellow as soon as he arrived? Wondered someone. It's nothing to be curious about. The two of them are rivals. Due to a mine, they've been going against each other for many years. Considering their enmity, insulting each other is simply natural, said an elder indifferently. This elder was also a life star expert. Although he was on the verge of dying from old age, his eyes were still bright. This Long Chen really is a generation's genius. How could he possibly do something like destroying his own sect? It is really incomprehensible someone beside the elder shook his head. There are always two layers to a person's words. Even if a person believes what they're saying, is it really the truth? Who knows? The elder smiled slightly, but it was a bit contemptuous. The main issue is that Long Chen suddenly appeared here in the eastern Xuan city and it seems that he has no intention of fleeing. All the large powers will quickly arrive. Isn't he just asking to be killed? Someone else shook their head, unable to comprehend Long Chen. According to reason, a small disciple who grew up in the secular world and managed to reach such a height must be both smart and decisive. So this is really foolish. Or perhaps he has some other goal, wondered someone else. More and more experts were arriving and flying boats were rushing over from every direction. Huge carriages appeared along with giant flying magical beasts, circling the sky. Experts had surrounded the eastern Xuan city so that there was no way for Long Chen to escape. Long Chen continued advancing with the pot in front of him, while the gourd-carrying middle-aged man continued to retreat as he attacked Long Chen. He had no idea that Long Chen wasn't wasting any energy at all defending against him. The pot's innate defenses were more than enough to block his flying swords. However, just as he was advancing, he received a spiritual transmission. Do you need help? Long Chen smiled when he received it. A certain face that he recognized surfaced in his mind. He had only seen this person once before, and it had been in the Grand Xia ancient nation. This person's name was Yu Mingxian. Long Chen called him the Seventh Elder. Back when Long Chen had seen him then. The seventh elder had only been at the soul transformation realm, but now he was at the life star realm. Seventh elder, it's been a long time. Is Xiaokian still well? Has she come out of seclusion? Long Chen sent back a spiritual message. Xiaokian has already come out of seclusion, and she has managed to awaken the original devil sacred blood, giving her immense power. If you're in trouble now, then just say the word. My entire original devil race will come out in full force to fight for you, said the seventh elder as he hid in the crowd, using a secret art to communicate with Long Chen. I don't need that yet. I'm intentionally drawing my enemies here. This time, I want all my enemies here in order to create the Book of Death, said Long Chen. But, will you be all right? Asked the seventh elder. Although he was in the life star realm now. Seeing all these powerful experts gathered here still gave him a chill. I'm fine. Everything's going as expected. It's not good for you to be exposed yet. So continue developing in the dark. If there comes a day that I do need your help, I won't stand on courtesy. 
said Long Chen. All right then, the seventh elder stealthily left. In just the short time that they had communicated, several nearby experts had sensed their spiritual fluctuations. Kia Yang, you're too useless. You can't even stop a Jade Core disciple. But don't worry, we'll come to help you out. Suddenly, three figures charged toward Long Chen, all of them life star experts. Everyone instantly held their breath. Chapter 1482 Let the Festival of Carnage Begin Translator Born to be four life star experts were attacking Long Chen at the same time, along with four ancestral items. Blinding light and powerful pressure filled the world. Long Chen, you are too arrogant. Are you looking down on all the heroes of the world? Today, you'll pay the price for your arrogance. A saber-wielding life star expert was the first to reach Long Chen. You think you're the heroes of the world, sneered Long Chen. As the pot blocked the attacks from the front, he turned around, sending out a single punch. Boom. A scale-covered fist smashed into the saber. Blinding light erupted. What? He blocked an ancestral item with his bare hands. Everyone was shocked, almost unable to believe their eyes. Ancestral items were immensely powerful. Only for straight sects could possess them, and they would belong to the sect masters. But despite that, Long Chen had blocked an attack from an ancestral item with his bare hands. In my eyes, you're all just garbage. The only difference between you is size. Long Chen suddenly sent out a kick at the saber-wielding expert's stomach. Horrified, the saber-wielding expert hastily pulled back his stomach. But by retreating like this, the power from his saber sharply dropped. Not good. He had only just reacted when the power behind Long Chen's fist suddenly exploded like a volcano. Boom. The life star expert almost lost his hold on his saber. The immense power sent him flying, and he hacked up a mouthful of blood. How? How is that possible he beat him in one move? That's the sect leader of a first-rate sect. Is Long Chen really defying the heavens? Long Chen didn't know who that saber-wielding expert was but there were quite a few who recognized him in the crowd, and because of that, they were so shocked. After sending him flying, Long Chen grabbed the pot, it explosively grew, and the sky suddenly turned dark. Boom, boom. Two ancestral items struck the pot, but the two attacking life star experts were blown back instead. Although they didn't cough up blood, their faces were pale from Long Chen's power. They had seen Long Chen fighting before they had joined in. But although they had been prepared, only once they personally attacked did they realize how terrifying Long Chen was. That pot's definitely a priceless treasure. If he didn't have it, he'd be dead, grumbled someone in the crowd. At this moment, the pot became 3,000 meters wide and smashed toward the gourd carrying life star expert like a shooting star. This attack was a complete shock for that expert. Long Chen had spun through the air just to store up energy for this attack. As the pot fell, space twisted wildly, and intense rumbling rang out. The gourd-carrying life star expert's expression changed. In that instant, he felt himself being locked down and unable to dodge. Heaven and earth shaking gourd. He smacked the violet gold gourd on his back. It rapidly grew larger, and a vague aura of primal chaos appeared. It stood in front of him like a large mountain. Boom. Violet light exploded, covering the sky in violet mist. Heavens, the ancestral item was destroyed. Startled cries began to ring out from the life star experts. Their vision was the sharpest, and they instantly realized that the violet mist was the broken powder of the violet gold gourd. That gourd was the core weapon of Gourd Island. It possessed an extremely ancient history. Countless generations of island masters had nourished it, and ordinary ancestral items could not be compared to it. Even life star experts as long as they don't have the heavenly Tao energy of Empyreans, can only release a limited amount of power from an ancestral item, thought Long Chen to himself. In the spirit world, when he had fought against Peng Wanshang, the latter had managed to unleash the full power of his ancestral item, causing the pot to crack. It had taken quite some time for it to recover. As for the enemies he was currently fighting, although they were life star experts and powerful celestials, they were not Empyreans. There was a large difference in the power that they could unleash from their ancestral items when compared to Peng Wanshang. Now Long Chen realized that the greater a person's heavenly Tao energy, the more power they could unleash from an ancestral item. 
As for cultivation base, it was a basic requirement for using an ancestral item, but heavenly Tao energy could cause a fundamental change in the ancestral item. Don't be in such a rush to leave. Let me send you off, said Long Chen. The life star expert whose gourd had just exploded felt like his head was splitting apart. He let out a mournful wail as he retreated. Perhaps it was due to the implications of having his ancestral item that was intricately linked to his soul destroyed, but he had lost his sense of direction. Instead of retreating in the opposite direction of Long Chen, he ended up going to Long Chen's left. Long Chen swung his pot once more, and the life star expert was struck squarely in the center of his body, exploding. At the same time as his body exploded, his Yuan spirit attempted to flee, but before it could get far, Long Chen raised his left hand and pointed a single finger. Thunder crackled. Lightning finger. A lightning arrow shot from Long Chen's finger, piercing the life star expert's Yuan spirit. A miserable cry came from him as his Yuan spirit exploded to dust. Long Chen bound the pot on his back and began to set off again, continuing his slow pace down the street. He acted like he didn't even see the three shocked life star experts behind him. This is too arrogant all three life star experts had unsightly expressions. They were trembling from rage at being looked down on like this. They were all people with great statuses, but Long Chen was completely ignoring them. The young disciples in support of Long Chen were all clenching their fists, filled with worship and zealotry. They were people with ordinary backgrounds and ordinary cultivation bases. But these people all had dreams. They had dreamed of becoming someone like Long Chen countless times, becoming someone who could reach the peak of the cultivation world without relying on any background. They were still young. They still had hope for their lives. Long Chen was their goal, and their idol. Now, even with practically all the Eastern Xuan region's experts gathered, Long Chen was still walking calmly, treating all those experts as nothing more than thin air. Just how domineering was that? Three experts on the level of sect masters were holding their weapons, trembling with fury, but they were still hesitating, not daring to attack Long Chen. They were a stark contrast from the fearless Long Chen. Long Chen truly appeared to be an undefeatable battle god who had come to walk the streets of the mortal world. No one could stop his footsteps. An incense stick's worth of time quickly passed. Long Chen had already passed the center of the eastern Xuan city. He was now heading toward a transportation formation near the city gates, the streets, the buildings, the air. They were all filled with countless experts silently watching him progress. But no one came to stop him. Fuck. What are you all waiting for? Long Chen is intentionally trampling on the dignity of all the experts of the Eastern Xuan region. If we just let him leave, he'll create another legend. All the Eastern Xuan region's experts are unable to block him. Are you willing to accept such humiliation? He's just a traitor who destroyed his own sect. A devil who slaughters friend and foe. As for you all, aren't you envoys of justice? Don't you even have the courage to stop him? If you let Long Chen peacefully walk out of the Eastern Xuan region, it'll become the greatest humiliation of your lives, roared a life star expert. This life star expert's roar ended up startling awake quite a few people. This was true. Long Chen was doing this to intimidate all the Eastern Xuan region's experts. If they let him do as he pleased, none of them would ever be able to walk with their heads raised again. To be frightened to the point of not even being able to muster the courage to block a Jade Core disciple, the Eastern Xuan region would become the laughing stock of the Central Plains. He's right. Don't have any misjivings. We're all warriors of the righteous path, and our mission is to eliminate devils. For righteousness for justice, for the Eastern Xuan region's peace and unity, we definitely can't allow Long Chen to walk out alive, a life star expert, who seemed to be from the righteous path, wearing sapphire blue robes and a scholar's band, suddenly walked out and shouted, his voice full of bewitching power, we can't let Long Chen leave alive, Long Chen must die, otherwise, what would happen to justice, righteousness all sect master level experts, attack together, Slay this devil for the eastern Xuan region. Countless experts began to roar, and a terrifying pressure filled the air. In the distance, there were several large war chariots with magical beasts pulling them. They were all terrifying 11th rank magical beasts. Yet, 
they simply stopped in the air, silently watching what was happening here. The war chariots had formations present that blocked people from seeing who was inside. The people in the city were all waiting for them to attack, but the people inside the war chariots never made a move. The people in the city could no longer wait. Long Chen, you heinous fiend, today will be the day of your death. Over 10 life star experts attacked. At the same time, more life star experts behind them rushed over. All the experts with weaker cultivation bases retreated, afraid of being caught up in it. At this moment, dozens of life star experts surrounded Long Chen, blocking off all his paths of retreat. You should think this through. I'll warn you one last time. Those who attack me will have to pay a terrifying price. Long Chen slowly stopped, looking coldly at the experts attacking him. Arrogant brat. Why don't you say those words to the dead people of the Zhuangshan Dao sect? A sword-wielding life star expert sneered and attacked Long Chen. He was an enemy of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and Long Chen recognized him. He had once come with Pill Valley to threaten the Zhuangshan Dao sect. I've already said what I had to say. Now, it's time to do what I have to do. Long Chen stamped down on the ground. Lightning wings appeared on his back and his speed suddenly skyrocketed as he went to greet that expert. Let the festival of carnage begin. Blood splashed. Chapter 1483 Finally here translator. Born to be the pot blocked the life star expert sword. While a lightning blade suddenly appeared and slashed through his body. The immense power directly cut him in two. Previously, Long Chen had been using the pot as his weapon. For him to switch to a sudden lightning blade caught this person off guard and he was struck. Save me, the life star expert cried out in horror. Terrifying thunder force invaded his body, paralyzing him. He couldn't even run. Most terrifying of all, his heavenly Tao energy was actually unable to suppress this thunder force. Filled with terror, he begged to be saved. What saved him was Long Chen's lightning blade. It clearly cut off his head, saving him from his current predicament. As he killed this life star expert, Three other attacks reached him. However, they were too slow to save him. Long Chen, who could believe you didn't destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect when you're so vicious, raged an expert. I've already explained that whether or not you want to believe me is your own problem. But if you want to kill me, do you expect me to not attack back? Attacking me is simply natural. But me attacking you becomes vicious? Fuck your mother. Just die. Long Chen roared and smashed with the pot. Shattering the three attacks, Thunder Force circulated on his feet, and he charged toward the person who had cursed him for being vicious. A lightning blade slashed down. Boom. That expert resisted with his full power, and his ancestral item staff was activated. But he was shocked to find that Long Chen was even more powerful than he had imagined. His lightning blade was not one whit inferior to an ancestral item, but suddenly, the lightning blade exploded into a sky full of lightning runes. Not good. That person's expression completely changed. When the lightning blade exploded into runes, they transformed into a lightning net that trapped him. He smashed his staff into the lightning net to break free. But at this moment, Long Chen's pot came smashing at him. Bang. Long Chen's great physical strength was put on full display. That life star expert could only make a hasty block but the lightning net was also numbing his body and affecting his power. The power of this block was less than 80% of his normal power, and as a result, his head was smashed by the pot. His Yuan spirit didn't even have a chance to flee before Thunder Force devoured it, killing him. Another life star expert was slain, and his ancestral item was taken by Long Chen. That's terrifying whether it was those jealous of Long Chen, those who worshipped him or whether they were purely experts who had come to watch the fun. They were all shocked. A total of 38 life star experts had attacked at the same time, but in the first clash, Long Chen killed two of them. Originally, they had thought that Long Chen wouldn't even be able to last a breath's time when surrounded by 38 life star experts, but now Long Chen had used his thunder force to kill two of them. That was outside everyone's predictions. Boom. Long Chen received the attack of five life star experts at once, and their combination attack ended up blowing Long Chen away. As he was knocked back, a sharp sword appeared where he was going. It stabbed through his back all the way to the hilt. 
the attacker was an extremely experienced expert who had first calculated Long Chen's path and placed his sword where Long Chen wouldn't see it, just waiting for Long Chen to be thrown onto it. That was why Long Chen wouldn't sense anything, and the moment he was struck, the power accumulated in the sword would burst forth. No matter how fast Long Chen's reflexes were, there was no way he could do anything. The majority of the people were about to cheer that Long Chen was definitely dead. There was also a small portion that sighed in regret and some who tightly clenched their fists. They were Long Chen's worshippers. If he died, the legend in their hearts would be destroyed. They couldn't accept that reality. Long Chen, you've finally paid the price for your foolishness and arrogance. Remember, youngsters shouldn't be too arrogant the master of the sword sneered. His body felt a bit numb, but he didn't pay attention to it. If they weren't arrogant, would they still be youngsters? Are they supposed to be like an old ghost like you, only knowing how to play little tricks? Long Chen didn't turn back. He looked at the sword piercing out of his chest with a faint smile. At this moment, a startled cry rang out from the distance. But everyone was focused on the stabbed Long Chen, so they didn't care. Even before your death, you refuse to repent, then you can just die, sneered that person. The power within his sword erupted, but his expression suddenly changed. As he found that the energy in his body had been sucked dry, he couldn't bring out the slightest bit of power. Do you know? When you scheme against others, others also scheme against you. Old ghost. Remember, arrogant people have the power to back it up. Those arrogant people without the power to back it up have long since died, said Long Chen indifferently. That life star expert looked down in horror. At some unknown time, a lightning spear had appeared in Long Chen's hand. This lightning spear had stabbed through the expert's stomach without him even realizing it. There was no pain, only a slightly numb feeling. Even if he wasn't staring right at it, he wouldn't even notice. You. Only at this moment did he suddenly recall that he had felt the tiniest twitch in his abdomen when his sword had stabbed through Long Chen. It had to have been at that time that he had been struck. This lightning spear wasn't very long, and it hadn't pierced through his body. However. It had pierced his tension, which was the source of his energy. Although he had stabbed Long Chen, he was unable to unleash his power. Old ghost, we're all busy, so I won't say too many words of goodbye. I'll just send you off. Bang. The lightning spear suddenly grew, and the life star expert exploded. Now everyone else finally saw the lightning spear in Long Chen's hand. Long Chen forced the sword out of his chest and threw it into the primal chaos space. With the pot present, once the master of an ancestral item was slain, the ancestral item wouldn't even dare to resist. A. Hey, another one. The spectators gulped. At first, they had felt that Long Chen was doomed. They hadn't thought that he had intentionally taken this sword in order to kill that life star expert. What a terrifying scheme. His body was pierced by an ancestral item. There's no way he can heal quickly. Attack together. He won't be able to last much longer. Following one expert's cry, the others attacked once more. They had noticed that Long Chen's injury had yet to recover. Clearly, taking that attack hadn't been so simple. He was very likely heavily injured. The experts once more attacked, and the power of ancestral items raged through the air. Long Chen held the pot in his left hand and a lightning blade in his right, fighting against them all alone. His power was extremely terrifying and each smash of his pot required several people to work together to receive it. As for his lightning blade, its thunder force meant that anyone who tried to receive it alone would be paralyzed and fall into an extremely dangerous position. So all these experts had to work together for both offense and defense. But as people on the level of first-rate sect masters, they were used to fighting alone. They rarely worked together with anyone resulting in them being thrown into chaos as Long Chen swept through them. Another life star expert was slain by Long Chen's lightning blade, but that revealed an opening that allowed someone else to stab a spear through Long Chen's ribs. Fresh blood flowed out. This Long Chen, why isn't he healing? Seeing Long Chen be repeatedly injured but not heal made people feel curious. Do you not remember? Long Chen isn't a celestial and can't use heavenly Tao energy to heal, said someone else. As soon as someone said this, everyone recalled that Long Chen wasn't a celestial. He was some sort of cultivation oddity. Back then, 
Pill Valley had accused him of being a heaven Caesar, but that was later proven to be false. So in the end, he was simply known as a freak of the cultivation world. His divine ring was out, but there wasn't the slightest bit of heavenly Tao energy circulating within it. They quickly concluded that without heavenly Tao energy, he wouldn't be able to heal the injuries left by ancestral items, and so he would be quickly defeated. Everyone, don't panic. As long as we exhaust him, he'll definitely die. He reminded a thin elder. Watch out. Just at this moment, Long Chen borrowed his momentum from someone else's attack to spin toward the thin elder, his lightning blade mercilessly slashing down. Due to the distraction of speaking, the elder could only receive it head on. As long as he blocked this one attack, the others would come to assist him. Regretfully, Long Chen's lightning blade immediately transformed into lightning runes on contact with the Thin Elder's weapon, forming a net that bound him. It's over for him. The spectators couldn't help sighing. Long Chen had previously used this move to kill another Life Star expert. This was a scoundrel move with practically no solution. As expected, no matter how that person struggled, he was still killed by the pot. However, the others were prepared this time. Just as that person was killed, several of them unleashed fierce attacks on Long Chen. However, their goal of stopping Long Chen from killing the thin expert hadn't worked out. Long Chen had struck first, killing him and then turning to block their attacks. But of course, that meant he was late to block, and so he was sent flying, coughing up a mouthful of blood. Quick, now, kill him. Seeing Long Chen coughing up blood and being covered in injuries, more and more experts joined in. Long Chen fell into a desperate situation in an instant. Just as Long Chen was going all out blocking their attacks, a sword appeared in his blind spot. At that moment, space froze. Ha ha ha, you finally come. Long Chen laughed thunderously. Golden flames exploded out of his body. Chapter 1484 Blasphemer of the Killing God? Translator. Born to be Long Chen smiled coldly as flames exploded out of him. A figure materialized within the flames. Shameful thing. I've been waiting for you for a long time. As soon as that figure appeared, the sword that was mysteriously hanging in midair turned, abandoning its attack and suddenly stabbing into the air. The sword pierced outright as Long Chen's pot smashed down at it. Neither of their attacks was aimed at the other. Instead, they were simply aimed at the air. It was like they were randomly striking. The figure holding the sword solidified. The sword strangely bent and then sprung back, allowing him to retreat. Just as he retreated, the seemingly random swing of Long Chen's pot blocked off his path. It seemed to be coincidentally smashing right where he was going. The figure twisted in midair, using some unknown secret art to summon a barrier. Long Chen's pot smashed into the barrier, causing it to quiver. In the end, the barrier exploded, but the pot's power had been reduced to the point where the figure merely coughed up a mouthful of blood. As he was exposed, his manifestation appeared along with him. People cried out in shock. Nine flowers manifest the heavenly deos. It's a rank nine celestial it's an assassin from the blood kill hall. Long Chen actually managed to find his tracks and stop his assassination. Aren't there rank nine celestials violet gold rank assassins? Isn't it said that they never fail? But now he just did. It seems Long Chen was long since prepared for him. Could it be that he has yet to release his full power? You think you can leave after trying to assassinate me? It's still daylight. So stop dreaming. The assassin turned to leave. But at this moment, Long Chen's lightning blade, which had long since been raised toward the sky, mercilessly slashed down, split the heavens for, with Long Chen's current power. The fourth form of split the heavens could be unleashed instantaneously by him. And after fighting with the blood kill hall assassins for so long, he had a certain level of understanding in their movement techniques. He had completely cut off his path of retreat. The blood kill hall assassin's sword suddenly blossomed with light. It was an ancestral item, and an extremely powerful one at that. Divine light appeared around it, blocking Long Chen's attack. Die. The Blood Kill Hall Assassin's sword shattered Long Chen's lightning blade and then curved, striking at him like a venomous snake from a bizarre angle. A rank 9 soul transformation celestial is truly powerful. But if you want to kill me, then it's still the same thing. Stop dreaming. Long Chen's pot grew, protecting him. 
With an explosive sound, the assassin's sword left a long scar on the pot, and Long Chen was sent flying. The power a rank 9 celestial could unleash from an ancestral item was even greater than these powerful life star experts. Attack. Kill Long Chen. For an assassin of the blood kill hall to appear out of nowhere was surprising, but the life star experts didn't let that stop them. Considering the blood kill hall's enmity with Long Chen, it wasn't strange. They attacked once more. They had been forcing Long Chen into desperate straits, and now that the assassin had joined in, killing Long Chen would be simple. His pot can't last any longer. Quick, a sharp eyed expert saw the scar on the pot. All their previous efforts hadn't managed to damage the pot at all, but the assassin damaged it instantly. If he continued attacking, the pot wouldn't be able to last much longer. HMPH, idiots, you'll pay the price for your idiocy. If you want my life, then come. Long Chen shouted fearlessly, and he swung his pot even fiercer than before, his power exploding. He's afraid. Everyone, kill this fiend together. Boom. Long Chen just sent a group of life star experts flying when the blood kill hall's assassin once more attacked. He timed it perfectly before Long Chen could summon any more power. As a result, Long Chen could only move the pot to block, and he was sent flying, another deep cut appearing on the pot. He's running. Stop him, cried an expert. Long Chen had summoned lightning wings and was starting to fly toward the center of the city. Long Chen, weren't you so courageous just now? Weren't you very domineering? But now you're running like a stray dog. You're just a piece of garbage, roared a life star expert as he energetically chased. For Long Chen to suddenly start running was surprising, but then they felt that it was simply natural. His display was already shocking enough. A Jade Core disciple was actually able to fight against powerful life star experts with ancestral items for so long, and even managed to kill several of them. That was admirable. Long Chen, you traitor of your own sect, you irredeemable fiend, you won't be able to get away. The life star experts quickly caught up to him. Long Chen was flying strangely, sometimes going left and then suddenly going right. Occasionally, he would fight a brief bout before flying away again. Some people were startled to notice that as Long Chen rushed away, he had his eyes closed. They didn't know what he was doing. Long Chen flitted around the eastern Xuan city seeming like he was playing an energetic game of manhunt, and he was too fast for them to surround him again. Some of them directly gave up on chasing and instead formed a large formation around him to limit his area of movement. He, I found it. Long Chen's eyes suddenly shot open. They shone brightly as he stared at a large building ahead of him. It was a large and tall building decorated in gold and jade. It was very grand but when it was placed in a place of soaring skyscrapers like the eastern Xuan city, it wasn't eye-catching at all. The experts chasing Long Chen saw him suddenly stop in front of this large building. They immediately launched a barrage of attacks. Long Chen, face your death. Over 10 life star experts had launched attacks with their ancestral items. This kind of power was practically world-shaking, and it was all concentrated on Long Chen. Fuck. Stop. The Blood Kill Hall assassin suddenly let out a panicked cry. It was too late. The Life Star Expert's attacks shot out. There were giant swords, flying spears, divine light, and rainbow strikes. They all combined together to form a domain of absolute death. Boom. Their combined attack devoured Long Chen. At the same time, it also struck the giant building behind him. No. The Blood Kill Hall assassin let out a furious roar. The giant building exploded, filling the sky with broken bits. This, this is, this statue is. When the dust settled, Long Chen had vanished. Instead, what they saw was a giant statue 3,000 meters tall. It depicted a man wearing black robes and long hair falling naturally. He held two daggers in his hands. His body was slightly bent, and his daggers were striking out in front of him. They flickered with a sharp light looking like they might reap a person's life at any time. He was the reaper of lives. Just looking at him made others feel pain in their souls. The air felt chilly, with an aura of death present. This is, the killing god statue. The spectators covered their mouths, staring in shock. Could this be the blood kill hall's stronghold in the eastern Xuan city? It, 
was actually exposed the Blood Kill Hall was a secret organization that didn't accept outsiders. Even the missions for assassinations had to pass through their secret strongholds. All this time, no one had heard of them having a stronghold here. It had to be known that the Blood Kill Hall only cared about money, not relations. Countless powers were filled with hatred for them, but the Blood Kill Hall was too mysterious, and no one knew where their lairs were. Most importantly, they were so powerful that no one was willing to provoke them. If a stronghold of theirs were to be exposed, that stronghold would be doomed. The Blood Kill Hall had offended practically every sect in some way, and now that people knew there was a stronghold in the eastern Xuan city, it was doomed. The combination attack had destroyed the building, but the statue was still standing, not harmed at all. It was unknown how it had been built, especially in the middle of the eastern Xuan city. It had to have taken an extremely long time to build in this location, so this had to be their stronghold in the eastern Xuan city. There was no other reason to have something of this scale here otherwise. Countless experts flew out of the building once it exploded. They all wore tight black robes. Cold killing intent burned in their eyes as they glared at the experts outside. They were all tightly clenching the swords on their backs, looking like they might slaughter all of them at any moment. There were actually hundreds of people from the Blood Kill Hall, and all of them were extremely terrifying. The majority were life star experts, with a few soul transformation experts in between. As for those with weaker cultivation bases, there wasn't a single one. Some people stealthily looked at the ruins below and saw a mass of corpses. Clearly, the weaker ones had already died. Now a mass of terrifying assassins had appeared, and the experts that had just attacked all retreated, terrified. They saw the killing intent in these assassins' eyes. They looked like they might go insane. Blasphemers of the killing god will die. One of the Blood Kill Hall's life star experts, who seemed to be the overseer of this place, glared at these experts that had brought calamity upon themselves. Will we really die? I want to try it out. Just at this moment, a lazy voice rang out, causing everyone to look up in shock. Up on the shoulder of the Killing God statue was a man with a black saber on his shoulder and a mocking smile. He slashed that saber at the Killing God's neck. Chapter 1485 Cutting off the head translator Born to be people had been too shocked to see the statue of the Killing God. They hadn't expected that the Blood Kill Hall would have a secret stronghold right in the middle of the eastern Xuan city. They only noticed Long Chen once he spoke. Compared to the giant statue, he appeared incredibly minuscule. He was like an ant on its shoulder. At this moment, a cold saber image hacked toward the Killing God statue's neck. He's insane. This action of Long Chen's shocked people more than all the previous fighting. Even Life Star experts felt a chill. Long Chen, you dare. The Blood Kill Hall experts all roared crazily, but it was too late for them to stop him. They were correct. Long Chen did dare. He didn't hesitate at all. A large head flew into the air. The flow of time seemed to pass slowly as people stared at the head flipping through the air. The Blood Kill Hall's experts were all pale. Their faces were twisted with hatred. Long Chen. Ah, Long Chen. Your skill in provoking disaster is truly unrivaled in the distance. Zheng Wenlong was standing on the Huaian Auction House's top floor. He wasn't too far from the Killing God statue, which allowed him to see what Long Chen was doing clearly. He bitterly smiled. This Long Chen really is attempting to defy the heavens. That one slash of his saber is going to make the Blood Kill Hall go insane said a white-robed elder beside Zheng Wenlong. There were also a dozen more Life Star experts accompanying Zheng Wenlong. Their auras were reserved, making them look like ordinary people. But a sharp light was hidden in their eyes, like needles hidden in silk. They were all powerful figures. They were Zheng Wenlong's guards in charge of his safety. Zheng Wenlong had already been promoted to the highest level supervisor of the Huaian sect in the eastern Xuan region. The Huaian sect would naturally worry about his safety. The leader of these people was the white-robed elder. He seemed to not possess any aura at all. It was difficult to even sense his presence. He continued, I heard that Long Chen once destroyed one of the Blood Kill Hall's strongholds in the eastern wasteland, causing them to send experts to assassinate him over and over. But now it's different. This is Blood Kill Hall's main stronghold in the eastern Xuan region. 
and that statue has their concentrated faith energy. Not only has Long Chen blasphemed their god, but he's also destroyed a portion of their faith energy. Now he's really provoked a disaster. Jung Wenlong needed his temples. He felt a slight headache. In my years of doing business, I'm able to get a general understanding of what people are thinking inside with just a look. But when it comes to this fellow, I've never been able to see through him. I can't see what he's thinking. Do we need to secretly help Long Chen leave here? Probed the white-robed elder after a moment's thought. Jung Wenlong shook his head. The sect master will not permit us to interfere in matters beyond our bounds. We'll have to keep watching quietly. At this time, the head that Long Chen had cut off finally thudded to the ground. Curiously, the statue, which had been incredibly tough before its head was cut off, now suddenly dimmed. The head splintered and crumbled to dust. Following the head, cracks spread throughout the rest of the statue, and it crumbled. Thanks to its destruction, a divine pool was revealed below it. Damn, there's actually a heaven and earth divine spring here too. Long Chen's eyes immediately turned green with greed. Without saying another word, he reached out a hand, and the divine spring surged toward him. He sucked it into the primal chaos space in an instant. There was even more energy in this one than the heaven suppressing magic sect. The heaven suppressing magic sect had been one of the three great heavenly sects. While this was just the eastern Xuan branch of the Blood Kill Hall, but it still possessed such an enormous heaven and earth divine spring. Long Chen. You've blasphemed our god and destroyed our stronghold. The Blood Kill Hall will not rest until you are dead, roared a life star expert from the Blood Kill Hall. He charged at Long Chen with overflowing killing intent. The rest of the Blood Kill Hall's experts also attacked. Sword Chi filled the sky, piercing through the void. They sealed all the space around Long Chen. Good. It would be best if there was no rest until death. Not only did you attack me from the eastern wasteland all the way to the central plains, but you almost killed Chu Yao. Today, we'll add this new enmity on top of our old enmity and settle it all together. Long Chen was just as infuriated as them. He thought of how Chu Yao would have died to the Blood Kill Hall's assassins if it hadn't been for Len Yuian. Now they wanted to say that they wouldn't rest until he was dead? He had long since felt that way toward them. Black light suddenly blossomed from Evil Moon, and he slashed it forward. Evil Moon now looked like a blade of slaughter that had come from hell. This one slash caused heaven and earth to tremble. A 3000 meter saber image shot out, and black light covered the sky. It revealed all the blood kill hall's assassins that were trying to sneak up on him. What terrifying killing intent. People cried out, because in that instant, their souls quivered with pain. That killing intent was enough to make them feel fear. A black ripple spread through the air, killing many of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. They were unable to endure this attack. The Black Saber image killed hundreds of the Blood Kill Hall's experts, leaving less than 20 behind. They had relied on their ancestral items to survive, but that powerful attack was like an ice cold bucket of water over their heads. Their anger and hatred were suppressed by fear. Long Chen didn't press the attack. Instead, he swung Evil Moon so that it rested on his shoulder. One man and one saber, both overflowing with killing intent, both decked in black. The current Long Chen looked like a reaper of lives come from hell. Everyone quivered as they stared at him. The experts who had previously attacked him all felt terrified. Only now did they realize that Long Chen hadn't used his real power against them. He had led them all around in order to search for the Blood Kill Hall's stronghold. As soon as this Blood Kill Hall assassin had appeared, Long Chen had felt something was wrong. His power was extremely strange, and it didn't feel like his own power. It was more like he was borrowing some other kind of power. That was what had allowed him to injure the pot. That was when Long Chen had grown suspicious. The second time that assassin had damaged the pot, Long Chen was sure that he was borrowing some kind of energy and that it was coming from nearby. The tiniest traces were captured by the nine-star hegemon body art as he had flown throughout the city. He had baited the assassin to attack him to confirm which direction the energy was coming from. And in the end, he had found the killing god statue. That rank 9 celestial had managed to borrow the slightest bit of the faith energy to increase his attack power. He had never expected that this was simply inviting trouble for himself. The sight of the current Long Chen made people quiver. 
but there was also a portion of people that felt their hot blood surging. The stronger and more valiant Long Chen appeared, the more they worshipped him. Some maidens in the springtime of their youth were staring at him with adoration. The current side of Long Chen being unrivaled was a powerful visual impact. It possessed a fatal attraction to these young women. Some young disciples were still filled with hope for their dreams, and they viewed Long Chen as their goal. They longed to also be like Long Chen and one day look down on all other powerful geniuses as nothing. Everyone's gazes were concentrated on Long Chen. Some gazes were worshipful and admiring, while some were jealous and frightened. There was a wide range of emotions. The black ripples coming from Evil Moon increased the visual effect. Staring at the remaining Blood Kill Hall experts, Long Chen sneered. Don't you say that anyone that's been born is a sinner, so that makes it all right for you to kill them? When they die, they simply return to the killing god's embrace. Then why do you look so shocked and frightened now? Could it be that your belief isn't devout enough? Or is that inside? You still fear death? Or perhaps you've had doubts in the principles of the killing god from the start. So you're greedy for life? Or have you done so many evil things that you're finally feeling guilt and fear? Is that why you want to live so badly? Sinner, don't bother trying to delude others. Today, you'll definitely die. No one can blaspheme the killing god. The leader of this group of Blood Kill Hall assassins charged at Long Chen once more, and the survivors followed. Over ten ancestral items lit up and attacked. A group of brainwashed idiots. You're just killing tools being used by someone else. You'll never understand the true meaning of life. Since you have no gratitude for life and no respect for death, you're just a pack of idiots. Long Chen raised Evil Moon, and a black saber image tore into the sky. Split the heavens for. This time, Long Chen wasn't using the lightning blade, but Evil Moon's body. That black saber image somehow gave off the impression of a bloodthirsty fiend with a cold smile as it slashed down. Chapter 1486 Top Experts Arrive Translator Born to be Black Chi filled the air as the huge saber image slashed down. The experts of the Blood Kill Hall were all blown away despite launching their own powerful attacks. They all coughed up blood, even together. They were unable to receive his attack. Why does using just the fourth form of split the heavens take so much spiritual yuan? Evil Moon, are you messing with me? Demanded Long Chen. Fuck off. The heavenly deos reject me. So using my body to unleash battle skills will naturally take more energy than with ordinary weapons. Furthermore, you yourself are also not liked by the heavenly deos. You're even more unwelcome than I am. So in this world. It naturally takes you more spiritual yuan to unleash battle skills, answered Evil Moon irritably. Long Chen could unleash the fourth form of split the heavens instantaneously, and the amount of spiritual yuan's cost was almost negligible. But when he used it with Evil Moon, he found that it took over ten times the amount of energy than when he used it with an ancestral item. After all, it wasn't the fifth form, so Long Chen couldn't understand why it would take this much energy. So he simply assumed it was something done by Evil Moon. But in the spirit world, it didn't take this much energy. The stronger you grow, the more the world rejects you. I'm very curious just what you did to enrage the heavens for them to reject you even more than me, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon's words made Long Chen's heart turn cold. If what it was saying was true, then this was going to be difficult to bear. However, now wasn't the time to consider this problem. After blowing away the Blood Kill Hall experts, Long Chen took a single step with lightning runes on his feet. He appeared in front of a certain someone and slashed his saber down. That person was the rank 9 celestial of the Blood Kill Hall, the one at the peak of the soul transformation realm. Although his cultivation base was the lowest amongst these assassins, his power was the greatest. Long Chen chose him as his main target. Boom. That rank 9 celestial sword blazed with light. But this ancestral item instantly shattered when Long Chen's saber struck it. Both his arms broke, and he violently hacked up blood. Let me send you to your god. After breaking his ancestral item, Long Chen sent a kick to his head. Lightning flashed, and that person was blown into blood mist. His Yuan spirit killed as well. Even rank 9 celestials can be killed. This is my first time seeing a rank 9 celestial get killed. This Long Chen is really vicious. 
Rank 9 Celestials were pampered by the heavens and supported by great karmic luck. Although people had heard of Rank 9 Celestials dying, almost no one here had personally seen a Rank 9 Celestial die. Now that they saw Long Chen kill a Rank 9 Celestial, they were all shocked. Furthermore, he was only at the Jade Core Realm, and the Rank 9 Celestial had been at the peak of the Soul Transformation Realm. This was truly heaven-defying. Long Chen, just wait one of the remaining Soul Transformation experts of the Blood Kill Hall had just turned to flee when a streak of lightning arrived in front of him. He was killed with a slash of a saber. Long Chen, we can no longer exist under the same sky. Just wait. You'll pay the price for your foolishness a soul transformation expert who had already fled into the distance was quickly caught and killed by Long Chen. After killing two soul transformation experts, the other experts of the blood kill hall had all fled, and there was no way for him to chase them. Long Chen swung his saber, destroying the remnants of the blood kill hall's stronghold. He then once more rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He was slightly out of breath, and his aura was a bit unstable. This was a normal reaction after fighting all out. However, his terrifying power had shaken everyone. They were all hiding in the distance, staring at him in horror. The Grand Blood Kill Hall's stronghold had been destroyed, and all those experts had been slain, with only ten odd people managing to escape. Just how vicious was that? Seeing the Blood Kill Hall's experts flee, Zheng Wenlong suddenly said, Send people to the Zhuangshan Dao sects branch sects in the eastern wasteland, western desert, southern sea, and northern source. Have them temporarily take asylum within the Huaian sect. You're worried that, yes, the Blood Kill Hall might have their faith, but that faith has no bottom line. They're capable of anything. Go and make sure they're safe. Protecting the family of my clients isn't against the business Dao, said Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong understood the Blood Kill Hall even better than Long Chen. These people didn't care about morality or principles. They had no bottom line. Now that Long Chen had destroyed their Eastern Xuan region's stronghold, they were capable of doing anything in their fury. So Zheng Wenlong was helping Long Chen out with the consequences. He understood the Blood Kill Hall and their history of bloody vengeance. The Blood Kill Hall had done many similar things in the past. At that time, there were many sects that had had their geniuses assassinated by the Blood Kill Hall, and in their fury, those sects had moved out in full force to heavily damage the Blood Kill Hall. Then after that, the Blood Kill Hall had carried out a bloody vengeance, and all those sects had their young, old, women, and children killed. Even babies still in the crib were killed. They were extremely cruel. Now on his own, Long Chen had killed this many disciples of the Blood Kill Hall. That might be even greater than the damage the Blood Kill Hall had taken back then. Their vengeance would very likely be greater in scale. Yes, I'll go right now. One of the Life Star experts immediately left. Other than that, have the arrangements for the others been completed? Asked Zheng Wenlong. Yes, it's all done. We have people from all angles, and we haven't missed anything. All the people who attacked Long Chen have been recorded. We'll give him the complete list when this is over. Ah. Only now do I realize why he wanted us to make such a list. He's going to settle things with them after this. One of the Life Star experts sighed and shook his head. At first, none of them had understood what Long Chen's goal was right now. But seeing him cut off the Killing God statue's head and take the Heaven and Earth Divine Spring, they thought of a certain possibility that gave them chills. Does anyone else want to come and kill me under the banner of justice? Come. Let me see whether your life is harder than my blade. Long Chen took a deep breath and forced himself to stop breathing heavily. With a cold snort, he continued walking slowly forward. Those experts surrounding Long Chen all retreated out of his path, not daring to block him. Long Chen quickly returned to where the Rank 9 Celestial from the Blood Kill Hall had attacked him. This was where his path had deviated. Now he returned and continued along the road. Last time. He had relied on a black pot to reach this point, but now he had a pitch black saber on his shoulder. That blade was incredibly sinister, and its fang-like tip was especially frightening. One step, two steps, three steps. Long Chen slowly continued forward. Although there were millions of experts around him and the Life Star experts numbered in the thousands, no one dared stop him. The power he had displayed was just too intimidating. 
Although he was now a bit out of breath and they knew he might be out of energy, they also knew that a tired lion could still easily kill a group of rabbits. As for Long Chen, he was like an unrivaled lion shocking all other beasts. Long Chen's footsteps were as steady as before, and he maintained the same rhythm that made these experts feel humiliated and infuriated. Those people who had previously attacked Long Chen were especially enraged. Long Chen had no intention of running. All he was doing was expressing his disdain for them. Each step he took increased their humiliation. He was walking over their dignity. In front of this many life star experts, this Jade Core disciple was still forcing them back step by step, while they couldn't even muster the bravery to stop him. Those young disciples were all full of worship as they watched Long Chen force away all these experts without even doing anything. What was domineering? This was domineering. What was arrogance? This was arrogance. Long Chen quickly saw the city gates. There was a transportation formation there, and once he was on it, he could leave. That would complete the slap in the face of the Eastern Xuan region's experts. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Do you really think no one can subdue you? At this moment, a voice rang out from the sky, and it came from one of the carriages. The voice was very young yet also powerful. It caused people's souls to shake. The most shocking thing about this voice was that it caused heaven and earth to rumble along with it. It was like the world was resonating with his words. Is, is this an Empyrean from legend people were gobsmacked. They stared in disbelief at that carriage. There were a total of four carriages in the sky, and they were all pulled by giant magical beasts of the terrifying 11th rank. However, after all this time, no movement had come from the four carriages causing people to almost forget about them. But now, someone from the carriages was speaking, and just by speaking, he caused the world to shake. Heavenly Tao energy followed with his voice. That was clearly something only a legendary Empyrean could do. I've been arrogant for more than a few days. As for whether or not someone can subdue me, it's hard to say. However, there's one thing that we can be sure of. A single Shagwangian is definitely not qualified to say such big words. Len Yuian could cut off your arm. So what are you thinking now? Are you asking me to cut off your head? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen's words caused everyone to suck in a cold gasp of air. Only now did they realize what level of existence Long Chen was. Chapter 1487 Titan Sect Translator Born to be Long Chen smiled coldly. He had long since taken note of those people in the sky, particularly the people within those four carriages. There was a powerful pressure coming from the carriages, but it didn't come from the people inside. The formation around the carriages prevented the auras of the ones inside from leaking outside and prevented others from peering inside. This sense of pressure came from his sharp senses. Now that he heard Sha Guangyan's voice, he immediately confirmed that the people inside the carriages were all people with terrifying origins. Other than the four carriages, there were also other beasts flying in the sky, with experts on their backs. They also had yet to take action. These were his true opponents. He sensed the auras of several rank 9 celestials on those beasts. Everyone was deathly silent after Long Chen spoke. The ancient family alliances Sha Guangyan. He was someone no one present had ever seen, but his name was something they had practically all heard. He was an Empyrean, one of the future rulers of the world. The entire world would be his stage in the future. No matter how outstanding someone else was, they would only be a secondary character compared to him. Yet, such a terrifying figure was acquainted with Long Chen, and based on his tone, they had exchanged blows. Furthermore, one of Sha Guangyan's arms had been cut off. Len Yuian's name was also resounding in their ears. She had fought against Sha Guangyan, and he had been defeated? That was a huge secret. Shut your dog mouth. Even with death at hand, you still dare to spout nonsense. A figure appeared in the sky. As soon as he appeared, the sky became dusky. Sand began to flow around him, covering the sky. He was the Empyrean Sha Guangyan. No wonder you dare to come out again. So you've advanced to soul transformation, said Long Chen. But even now, his footsteps didn't pause. The current Sha Guangyan's aura was raging, and waves of pressure came off of him. That was a sign of not being perfectly adjusted to his new power after advancing. 
During the battle in the spirit world, Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng had been at the peak of Jade Core. For Sha Guangyan to have broken through to soul transformation wasn't strange. What a joke. Just because you've stayed at the Jade Core realm, does that mean others have to wait for you? Long Chen, today you're definitely dead. I'd advise you to hand over Evil Moon, and I can leave you with an intact corpse, demanded Sha Guangyan icily. He was staring tightly at Dragonbone Evil Moon on Long Chen's shoulder. He was extremely irritated that this terrifying blade had ended up in Long Chen's hands. That's right, Long Chen, hand over Evil Moon, and I'll leave you with an intact corpse. From another carriage, a golden winged figure flew out, and another powerful aura appeared. It's the golden pen race's unrivaled genius, Pen Wansheng. The arrival of another Empyrean elicited startled cries. Two Empyreans had actually appeared at once. What had happened in the spirit world was not common knowledge in the righteous path. The ancient races, corrupt path, and ancient family alliance viewed what had happened as a great humiliation and did not bring it up. As for the experts in the eastern Xuan city, the majority of them were from the righteous path, and so they didn't know what had happened in the spirit world. Pen Wanchen was shining as brightly as ever. He had also advanced to soul transformation, and just like Sha Guangyan, his aura was still unsteady. Yet, just by standing in the air, they made it so the other experts felt like they were suffocating in their presence. Long Chen's definitely dead. The appearance of two Empyreans completely cut off any chances that Long Chen could survive. His path had come to an end. He would never be able to walk out of the eastern Xuan city. He's the one who sent himself to his own death. He viewed all of us as nothing. If he had simply fled at the start, who could have stopped him? Instead, he kept acting like a badass. It was purely courting death, sneered someone. No matter what, Long Chen is still a genius of the righteous path. I don't like him being killed by people from the ancient races and ancient families, disagreed someone else. It had been many years since such a terrifying genius had appeared in the righteous path. He was someone who was able to fight against Empyreans, so he should have been the pride of the Righteous Path. But now, Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan, two people who were a major realm above Long Chen, and also the representatives of the ancient races and ancient families, wanted to kill him in front of them all. This was a bit hard to accept. Long Chen was just one step away from the transportation formation. If he had just taken that one last step, he would have been able to escape. But now that one last step was as difficult to traverse as a heavenly chasm. Long Chen's the scum the righteous path. Naturally, the righteous path has to be the ones to tidy up their own mess. Don't you two think using two soul transformation experts to handle a Jade Core disciple is a bit inappropriate just as the atmosphere was tense like a knocked bow? Another figure came out of the third carriage. Long Chen's pupils narrowed slightly. Another Empyrean. Heavens. Has the world gone insane? When they saw that figure, everyone was shocked. They felt like all the shock of their lifetimes had been used up today. That figure was extremely muscular and large. His arms had to be thicker than a normal person's waist. He wore a pair of tiger hide boots, leather shorts, and a scaled vest armor. His hair stuck up straight like needles. The muscles of his shoulders were practically at the same level as his head. His arms were exposed, and it looked like countless snakes were wriggling under his skin. His blood chi was so powerful that it looked like he might explode. Just by standing there, he gave off the impression of an immovable iron tower. The space around him shuddered, as if his power could threaten the world. As for when he spoke, it was like wild thunder yet also like the roars of ten thousand beasts, causing heaven and earth to quiver. His heavenly Deo's fluctuations were also intense, making it so no one doubted that he was an Empyrean. This monstrous muscular man caused an uproar because no one knew this figure. They hadn't even heard of him. How was it possible that someone like an Empyrean was still unknown? My name is Yi Kingkuang, a disciple of the Titan sect Long Chen. I won't waste words with you. Under the name of cleaning up the righteous path. I'll be taking your life and making a name for myself and the Titan sect. The large man introduced himself, his voice piercing people's ears. The Titan sect? Didn't they decline and then completely disappear from this world? They've been gone for over 8,000 years, 
cried out a sect master. The Titan sect had truly appeared in history, and it had been a very powerful sect with a long history. It had also survived the Dark Era. Unfortunately it had taken such a huge loss in the Dark Era that although they had managed to bitterly hang on for a long time, they still hadn't been able to restore their old glory. Instead, they were surpassed by many sects that were founded later. Under the pressure of so many new sects, the Titan sect had mysteriously vanished in the end. At that time, people guessed that one of their enemies had killed them in secret. The disappearance of a declined sect didn't cause many waves. Only people well versed in history knew about it. The majority of youngsters had never heard of this existence. They lay in wait for 8,000 years, secretly healing and accumulating power for the best moment to come back and awe the world. That kind of endurance is truly admirable up in the sky, in the carriage that had yet to move. A beautiful woman in a long dress with a violet gold phoenix hairpin in her hair said, How regretful. They don't realize that the great era has already come and that the ones awakening aren't just them. After enduring for so long, they still couldn't endure it until the end. There aren't many people capable of understanding their own hearts. That beautiful woman looked to be in her thirties. She was extremely refined, and her voice was extremely moving. Each word she spoke contained a rhythm to it that made it sound like music. Yes, master. You've always taught me that playing a thousand divine songs isn't as effective as tasting the flavors of life when it comes to comprehending the mysteries of humanity. Unfortunately, I, your disciple, have been too foolish to live up to your training. There was a younger woman in the carriage. Her voice was like birdsong, and her jade-like face was filled with shame. If Long Chen heard this voice, he would instantly recognize it. She had had several interactions with him in the past and had even spoken the true feelings of her heart to him. The two of them had a hopelessly muddled relationship. She was the elusive music Immortal Palace's disciple, Fairy Ziyan. Ziyan stared outside the carriage, looking at the figure surrounded by millions of experts, with a black saber on his shoulder. A touch of pain appeared in her eyes. Do you feel a bit of regret that you didn't kill him in the Eastern Wasteland? If you had. You wouldn't be feeling such pain, said the beautiful woman to Zi Yan. Zi Yan shook her head. I don't regret it. Even if I had to choose again, I still wouldn't kill him. I know I wouldn't be able to do it. He isn't a bad person. I will never forget how despite knowing it was a trap from the blood kill hall, he still allowed himself to be struck by a poison needle rather than killing that little girl. I remember the look in his eyes very clearly. There was heartache, pity, warmth and the only thing missing was hatred. He is kind, and even if he is my faded devil star, I can't kill him. The beautiful woman rubbed Zi Yan's cheek gently. She softly said, You have your own missions in this world, and Long Chen is one of them. If he really was an irredeemable devil and you could kill him without any misjivings, he wouldn't be called a devil star. But have you never thought about this possibility? Long Chen might be a good person but he is walking into the abyss step by step. Whether or not it's because he's forced to buy others or himself, he is still undergoing a transformation. Once he transforms, he will become a peerless killer. Your mission is to end his sins. Sometimes, plucking the seed of evil when it has only just sprouted is true kindness. Master, I understand. Can you let me think about it for a bit longer? Zi Yan stared at Long Chen. A conflicted look in her eyes. Chapter 1488 Long Chen. Go ahead and explode translator. Born to be Long Chen stood on top of the city gates with Evil Moon on his shoulder. Looking at the three figures in the sky coldly. Long Chen. You should be careful. These people that came from the four carriages have brought real experts with them. In particular. That carriage carried by the multicolored phoenix contains someone extremely powerful said Dragonbone Evil Moon. How powerful? asked Long Chen. Stronger than that fellow from the heaven-suppressing magic sect furthermore, that person should be holding a half-step divine item, said Evil Moon. Half-step divine item? Is there such a thing? asked Long Chen in confusion. Back in the immemorial path, Long Chen had tricked Huang Junmo by offering him a half-step divine item from legend, and Huang Junmo had fallen for it. You haven't reached that level yet. So you don't understand what a real divine item is. The things you've seen so far can't be counted as real divine items. 
That stupid skull from the corrupt god is simply a remnant left by an ascender. It only contains a bit of divine essence. Such a thing can only be classified as a quasi-divine item. Ones with more divine essence. Ones where experts have branded them with their divine blood and divine blessing. They have the ability to think and live on their own. They have reached the level of half-step divine items. That staff from the heaven suppressing magic sect has reached that level. However, that fellow's cultivation base was too low, and he wasn't able to unleash the true power of the staff. But the person in that carriage is very powerful. If they attack, I won't be able to stop them, explained Evil Moon. Long Chen had no time to consider this new information about quasi and half-step divine items. He asked the only important thing, if they do attack, can you manage to escape like last time? That would be no problem, said Evil Moon. Then that's enough. Let's have a real battle hearing Evil Moon's promise. Long Chen was much more at ease. Based on their agreement, as long as there were no divine items, it wouldn't help even if Long Chen was killed. But if there were divine items, it would have to help him face the battle or escape. The two of them had only come to this agreement because it was mutually beneficial. Up in the sky, Yi King Kuang's arrival was very surprising to everyone, including Sha Guanggayan and Peng Wanshang. They had rushed over here as soon as they had heard that Long Chen had appeared. Now, before they could kill him, they had encountered this gorilla like Yi King Kuang. They didn't quite know what to do, but the arrogance he was displaying did irritate them. The Titan sect? Never heard of it said Sha Guanggayan disdainfully. He didn't care too much about this new fellow. Just like Long Chen, Yi King Kuang was still at the peak of the Jade Core Realm. Although Sha Guanggayan and Peng Wanchen had only stepped into the Soul Transformation Realm recently, and their spiritual Yuan had yet to completely transform, they were still much stronger than when they had yet to take a step over the barrier. So they were confident that they would be able to defeat Long Chen. Ha ha ha. It's fine if you haven't heard of it. Soon, its name will resound throughout the Central Plains, along with the name of myself, Yi King Kuang. Yi King Kuang laughed heartily, his voice like a wild drum. As he laughed, endless heavenly Tao energy gathered behind his back, forming the primal chaos manifestation. In that instant, the world's heavenly Tao energy seemed to be sucked dry by him, other than Sha Guanggayan, Pen Wanshang, and a few others. Everyone else became as pale as paper. A few of the weaker ones were shuddering. This, this is the absolute heavenly Tao energy? We can't even use heavenly Tao energy like this, cried a rank 5 celestial in terror. Heavenly Tao energy was what every celestial depended on. Now that it was taken away, they felt themselves to be fish on dry land. This invoked an innate fear in their souls. HMPH. Courting death Peng Wanchen was just about to attack Yi King Kuang for his arrogance. However, he was stopped by Sha Guanggayan. Brother Peng, let it go. Why bother quibbling with a junior? As seniors, we should give our junior a chance to display his power. If you attacked him, it would make others think you were bullying him. For Sha Guanggayan to call Yi King Kuang a junior was clearly an insult. Yi King Kuang raged. You two are the ones courting death. King Kuang. Power isn't shown with your mouth but your fists. If you want to win your dignity, then bring out your power instead of wasting words. At this moment, the voice of an old man came from the carriage Yi King Kuang had come from. Fine. Since that's the case, I'll first handle Long Chen before you two. Don't think that just because you're at a higher realm that you really stand above me, said Yi King Kuang coldly. He didn't forget to challenge them to a fight. The spectators were all shaken by Yi King Kuang's arrogance. He actually wanted to fight two Empyreans that were at a higher realm than him? The atmosphere was so tense that it was hard for them to breathe. And yet, when they turned back to look at Long Chen, they saw him standing there calmly. He wasn't making any movements Yi King Kuang's arrogance is an outer appearance. While Long Chen's arrogance comes from inside, that's true arrogance, said a young disciple who worshipped Long Chen. He couldn't help clenching his fists tightly. Quite a few people nodded inside. Long Chen didn't put on such arrogant airs. Instead, it was his actions that were so arrogant that they shook heaven and earth. This arrogance was much more shocking. Some of the people that were originally jealous of him now felt a bit of respect for him. Even if he died today, 
his name would be forever recorded in the legends of the martial heaven continent. Long Chen, sorry, but I'll be using your blood as a display of my power. Have you prepared yourself for your death? The primal chaos behind Yi King Kuang revolved, causing the world to shudder. He had already begun to accumulate energy. Although he was just accumulating energy, the void was twisting wildly around him. How terrifying countless experts felt their hearts leaping in their chests. Even life star experts were suffocated and had to retreat. You don't need to feel sorry. You want to show your power. But the truth is that I'm also here to show my power. You don't need to feel guilt over killing me. Because I won't feel any guilt when I kill you. Humans are simply foolish. They have no respect or gratitude for life. As long as they get power, they look down on everyone else and have no qualms about stripping them of everything they possess, including their lives. Trying to explain or teach anything to such people is like playing music for a bull. The only way for them to really learn their lesson is to slaughter until they learn what respect is. Since you want my life, then come. Let's see just who takes whose life. Long Chen put away Evil Moon and stood with his hands clasped behind his back as he faced Yi King Kuang. He was actually fighting him with his bare hands. In the carriage, Zi Yan's emotions became even more complicated as she listened. The beautiful woman sighed. If it weren't for my absolute confidence in the formation protecting the carriage, I'd suspect he was saying these words just for you to hear and make it harder for you to kill him. Zi Yan shook her head. He isn't that kind of person. He has his pride. Even if he had to die, he would definitely disdain using such methods. I understand him very well. It's because you understand that you're in so much pain. Zi Yan, you have to remember your mission, said the woman. Zi Yan was about to reply when space suddenly shook intensely. Following that, Yi King Kuang let out a fierce cry and shot toward Long Chen, throwing out a punch. Even before the punch arrived, the city gates below Long Chen shattered. Heavens, the grand formation was broken. It had to be known that the city gates were connected with the eastern Xuan city's buildings. All their formations were connected. And yet, even before this punch arrived, it crumbled. That was gobsmacking. It's nothing strange. The eastern Xuan city's grand formation draws out heavenly Tao energy for its operation. As for Yi King Kuang, he's an Empyrean and he has sucked all the heavenly Tao energy away, weakening the formation, explained an elder, Long Chen, die, Yi King Kuang's fist reached Long Chen, boom, a huge ripple spread through the air, a figure was sent flying, what people were shocked to find that this figure was the large, monstrous Yi King Kuang, how, how is that possible Yi King Kuang's attack was practically unstoppable, people had thought that Long Chen would be heavily injured at the very least, if not dead, they had all seen that Yi King Kuang had come to show his power, and the best way to do that was to kill Long Chen in one blow. That was why his first punch was already so terrifying, but this result made them all dumbstruck. Long Chen stood in the air, his robes fluttered and five stars revolved in his eyes. The star corresponding to the Divine Gate star had originally been dim, but now there was a trace of light within it. Are you prepared? I'm about to show you my power. Long Chen shot toward Yi King Kuang like a bolt of lightning, unleashing his own punch. Boom. Yi King Kuang had yet to fully recover from their first exchange, and his arm was tingling. His hasty block resulted in him being blown away once more by Long Chen. Good. As the Divine Gate Star gets stronger, the Five Star Battle Armor gets stronger as well. Then let me just explode with all my power. Suddenly, Long Chen's body became covered in green dragon scales and the 108,000 stars within him revolved. Once more transforming into a bolt of lightning, he shot after Yi King Kuang. Chapter 1489 Wild Long Chen Translator Born to be Long Chen's current power made the space around him rumble. It was like space was about to explode. Having tested his power in their previous exchange, he was now more sure what level his body had reached. He had no qualms about silently summoning the green dragon battle armor to unleash his full power. His fist punched forward. This was a punch containing his undefeatable will. A punch that could make gods and devils run. Yi King Kuang was shocked and infuriated. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be so powerful. Having lost the initiative, he had fallen into his current miserable plight. 
Because he was still rapidly flying backward from the previous exchange, he was unable to concentrate his power and could only use a weak block. This infuriated him so much that he almost coughed up blood. When Long Chen's punch reached him, Yi King Kuang coughed up a mouthful of blood. He tumbled backward across the ground. A long scar was cut into the ground before he smashed into a distant mountain. The mountain collapsed and a wave of dust filled the sky. Is, is this real life? All the experts within the eastern Xuan city found this hard to believe. Just how domineering had Yi King Kuang's display been just a moment ago? He had unleashed practically apocalyptic power. But as soon as he fought Long Chen, he was forced back so hard that he couldn't even retaliate. He was blown back with the first punch and injured with the second. Just what level of a monster was Long Chen? There was no one who wasn't shocked, including Pen Wanshang. He was unable to accept that Long Chen's power had greatly advanced. Long Chen is still being kind. If he had used his full power from the start, then considering how overconfident Ji King Kuang was, he'd have been heavily injured in the first exchange. And with how decisive Long Chen is in his fighting experience, he wouldn't give Yi King Kuang any breathing room to recover. Most likely, Yi King Kuang would have been killed right there under his torrent of attacks. The only reason he didn't was to prevent the shockwaves of their battle from affecting the innocents. Despite there being so few people supporting Long Chen, and the majority being so jealous of him that they want him dead, he gave up this great chance to kill Yi King Kuang. If his true goal had been to display his power, he wouldn't have given up that chance. Master, if you were in my position, what would you do? Asked Zi Yan in the carriage. The beautiful woman looked at the figure down below and couldn't help but sigh. She didn't reply to Zi Yan. Lightning circulated around Long Chen, and with each step, he seemed to teleport, appearing a hundred miles away. With just seven steps, he arrived in front of Yi King Kuang again. Yi King Kuang had stabilized at this time. A cold light shone in his eyes as he wiped away the blood from his mouth. He roared. Titan art. Divine runes appeared all along Yi King Kuang's skin. His body began to shine with light as blinding as the sun. Yi King Kuang's power soared. The ground beneath him cracked into thousands of pieces. What terrifying power. How could such a thing exist in this world? In the eastern Xuan city. Even life star experts could only stare from a distance, not daring to get close. Seeing Yi King Kuang suddenly unleash his power stunned them. The power of his first punch would have instantly slain an ordinary life star expert. And yet Long Chen had easily blown him away, making people unconsciously think that Yi King Kuang wasn't as powerful as he seemed. But now even from this great distance, Yi King Kuang's aura made them shudder in terror. The current Yi King Kuang didn't even look human. He seemed more like an ancient monster. Die. Yi King Kuang shot forward. The ground beneath him crumbled as he stamped down on the ground. He let out a punch once more. Long Chen was also rushing toward him. It was like two shooting stars had collided. Blinding light exploded on the sky. And powerful shock waves spread. Shaking the heavens. Up in the sky. Their fists were still connected. Ripples were still spreading from them. Below the ground, everything was exploding and crumbling from their power. What kind of power is this? Compared to this, the previous battle was like child's play. These people finally witnessed the power of peak experts. It was apocalyptic. Before this, Long Chen's battle against the Life Star experts and the Blood Kill Hall could already count as a world-shaking battle but when they looked at what was before them now, they realized just how short-sighted they had been. Long Chen really is an unrivaled genius. He's not a celestial, nor an empyrean, but he can contend against peerless heavenly geniuses. Who else can do such a thing? Praised a young woman from the crowd. There were quite a few young disciples now. When Long Chen had been walking on the street alone, the huge crowd had blocked their sight. But now anyone in the eastern Xuan city could see the sight of this immense battle. The sight of Long Chen shook the hearts of quite a few young disciples. In this world, everyone worshipped heroes, and Long Chen was like a legend, making countless young disciples view him as an idol. He gave them the motivation to cultivate harder, like the light guiding their cultivation path. Long Chen's own actions told others that as long as they still had a dream for themselves, then a lack of talent, background, and resources wouldn't stop them from growing. 
Each person had a chance to become a genius. Only those people who were over a hundred years old and had failed to break through bottlenecks too many times would resent other people's accomplishments. They wanted to see Long Chen die in front of them. People with shadows in their hearts could only use such a method to vent their hatred. Feeling hopeless for their own cultivation, they felt the greatest delight at seeing others fail. That was why most of the people who supported Long Chen were young and had their own dreams. There was still sunlight in their hearts. They refused to believe that Long Chen would do something like destroy his own sect. It seems Long Chen's being suppressed by Yi King Kuang. Suddenly, someone cried out in shock. At this moment, everyone saw Long Chen's fist seemed to have been pushed back by Yi King Kuang. HMPH. So what if Long Chen is powerful? Empyreans are the favorites of heaven and earth, and the true main characters of the cultivation world. As for Long Chen, he's nothing. A dancing clown. Being killed by an Empyrean is his fate. Sneered a soul transformation expert. He was already middle-aged and looked to be a narrow-hearted person with just a glance. If Long Chen is a dancing clown, what are you? Before you criticize others, you should look at yourself and consider whether you're qualified to say such big words or not. All you know how to do is insult others behind their backs. If you really have any guts. Then why didn't you do anything when Long Chen was walking along the road just now? A young man with a sword on his back directly spoke back against the middle-aged cultivator. You that person pointed his finger at the young disciple and was about to curse him. However, before he could say any curses, a cold light flashed. That person's arm was severed. If you point at me again, I'll cut off your head instead, said the sword-wielding expert coldly. He slowly sheathed his sword behind his back again. Stop fighting and focus on the battle. Most people will never get to witness a battle on this level in their entire lives. Don't miss this chance, advised a life star elder. Practically, everyone had activated a photographic jade to record the battle so that they could study it in detail in the future. It seems Long Chen's power is really inferior to Yi King Kuang's, said someone. Long Chen's arm had been forced back now. Seeming like he didn't have enough power. King Kuang, watch out. He just at this moment, the old voice from Yi King Kuang's carriage spoke once more. Pow. The warning came too late. Long Chen's right fist was still blocking Yi King Kuang, while his left hand swung through a beautiful arc and slapped Yi King Kuang's face. What everyone was shocked. How was this possible? How could Long Chen have enough energy to use his other hand? That made no sense. When two people were fighting like this, all their power would be concentrated in their fist. The other places should have no energy to be used unless they gave up the energy on their fists. Is this to say that Long Chen isn't using his full power, so he still has energy left over? Guessed someone. Boom. Yi King Kuang smashed into the ground, creating a large hole. A wave of dust rose into the sky. Now's my chance. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back and he charged into the hole. Yi King Kuang's head was still buzzing from being slapped. Before he could recover, his needle-like hair was caught by Long Chen, and a hard knee slammed into his nose. Chapter 1490 Steel Coiling Dragon Staff Translator Born to be Boom Long Chen's knee viciously slammed into Yi King Kuang's high and arrogant nose. The sound of bones breaking rang out. Clearly, Yi King Kuang's nose wasn't as hard as Long Chen's knee. With Long Chen tightly holding his hair, Yi King Kuang couldn't even escape. Long Chen's knee slammed in for a second time. Consecutive explosive sounds rang out as Long Chen slammed his knee into Yi King Kuang's face over and over again. The dust was flying and the ground where they were was blown apart. The two of them are fighting underground. I can't see. Everyone could only see the ground exploding and guess where the two of them were based on the dust that was flying. Boom. Suddenly. An intense boom rang out, and the ground exploded like a volcano. Two figures came charging out of the ground, soaring into the sky. Heavens, what happened? Yi King Kuang is injured. Yi King Kuang's face was covered in blood. Although he had quickly healed his injuries, the people still managed to catch a glimpse of his broken nose. Yi King Kuang threw out a punch once again, but it was caught by Long Chen. Using the former's power, Long Chen spun throwing Yi King Kuang into the ground once more, deforming it. This was a true battle of peak experts, and it was incomparably intense. 
As Long Chen once more shot toward him, Yi King Kuang let out a furious roar. His eyes turned scarlet. Titan art, soul devouring power. Following Yi King Kuang's crazy roar, the primal chaos manifestation behind him began to flow into his body. The originally dim runes around Yi King Kuang's body now blazed with light. He actually absorbed his heavenly Tao manifestation. Sha Guang Yan and Pen Wan Chen were shocked to see this. It had to be known that while they could summon their own heavenly Tao manifestations and borrow heaven and earth's energy for their own, the manifestation was an intermediary. They could draw it within themselves while keeping it active. Clearly, the Titan sect had a secret art to absorb one's heavenly Tao manifestation. Yi King Kuang's wild aura doubled in power, and that power even made their hearts shake. No one can match my Titan sect when it comes to brute strength. In front of me, you are just an ant, roared Yi King Kuang. Wherever he passed, space would wildly twist, proving his power. What a bitch. He dares to say the dragon race is an ant in front of him? Long Chen, kill that bastard. Long Chen didn't react to what Yi King Kuang had said. But Evil Moon was enraged. Long Chen possessed the essence blood of a green dragon and had summoned the green dragon battle armor, which meant he was using the power of the green dragon. For Yi King Kuang to call that an ant's power ended up provoking Evil Moon. All right, then I'll kill him. Who said he could be a show off? Long Chen took a deep breath, and the unmoving divine ring behind him began to rapidly revolve. As it did, the energy within his 108,000 stars gushed forth linking up with his 108,000 scales. Within his silent mind see, the Divine Gate Star suddenly shook. Long Chen felt his head heat up. The Feng Fu, Alief, Life Star, and Enlightenment Palace Stars on his hands and feet shook and heated up as well. Terrifying power was rising with them. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a state. In that instant, he felt like his power was overflowing. If he didn't release it, he would explode. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and roared. He smashed his fist at Yi King Kuang. This time, his punch didn't cause any rumbling or affect space. It was silent as if it had broken through the limits of time and space. That power, it's not the power a human should possess. Within the carriage, the beautiful woman was finally shaken. Boom Novaloon.com their fists collided. It was like two stars had erupted, and blinding light eclipsed the sun. Cracking sounds rang out. Yi King Kuang's arm broke, and he coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. He was filled with disbelief. It wasn't just Yi King Kuang who found this hard to believe. Everyone found this preposterous. All of them had witnessed Yi King Kuang's power, but even someone as strong as him was defeated with a single punch from Long Chen. From the start, Yi King Kuang had displayed his powerful and arrogant side for them to experience, and yet he had never managed to gain the slightest advantage. He was always suppressed by Long Chen. This is unbelievable. Long Chen is already this powerful. Long Chen really is heaven defying. Even Empyreans can't suppress him. It's not that Yi King Kuang isn't strong, but that Long Chen is too monstrous. In front of Long Chen, he has no qualification to be arrogant. Everyone was shocked by the power Long Chen currently displayed. That shock also contained terror especially when it came to those people who had previously insulted or attacked Long Chen. They had ended up insulting such a terrifying figure. If Long Chen continued to grow, the consequences, they were unimaginable. Long Chen stood in the air, his divine ring revolving around him. Like a devil god, he looked down at the shocked Yi King Kuang. Yi King Kuang had long since lost his arrogant expression. You can be arrogant, but don't be arrogant in front of me because you aren't qualified. You can say you'll kill someone, but don't say you'll kill me, because ever since I stepped into the cultivation world, all my time was spent either on killing people or progressing toward the next person I'm going to kill. You and I are different. You are arrogant to be arrogant, but my arrogance was forced by a group of brainless fools. My arrogance was forced out by their lives and deaths. There's a fundamental difference between us. My arrogance is for survival, to protect myself. As for your arrogance, it's just a joke, said Long Chen from the sky, looking down on Yi King Kuang. Long Chen didn't want to be arrogant. He was only in his early 20s, and that could still be counted as very young. To be young and arrogant was natural. 
but he had experienced so much that he had long since lost the arrogance of youth. Or perhaps it was simply because there was so much on his shoulders that he wasn't even qualified to have the arrogance of youth. Perhaps he would never have a chance to experience this arrogance in his life. HMPH. Young people shouldn't be too arrogant. If you are, you won't be too far from death. Suddenly, an elder walked out from the carriage Yi King Kuang had come from. The elder was also a tall and large man. He still seemed to possess the energy of youth, and his voice was like a loud drum. He had a fiery red staff in his hand. When he appeared, everyone felt like a boulder had landed on their hearts. He was also a life star expert, but he was completely different from ordinary life star experts. The peak of life star. Many life star experts managed to see through this old man's cultivation base. By the life star realm. Each minor realm was incredibly difficult to advance. Not only did it require a huge amount of resources, but it also required comprehension of heaven and earth. The third, sixth, and ninth heaven stages were especially difficult to reach. 90% of the life star experts present were in the early life star realm. They might never cross the barrier to reach the mid stage in all their lives. There were also a few people at the mid life star realm. Not one of them was in the late life star realm, but this elder in front of them possessed an aura that crushed all of theirs. Clearly, he had reached the ninth heaven stage of the life star realm. He was a terrifying existence. As soon as he spoke, he drew everyone's attention. This terrifying elder was clearly Yi King Kuang's master, or perhaps his elder. What was he doing now? If youngsters weren't arrogant, would they still be youngsters? You're right when you say that being too arrogant means you won't be too far from death. But some people who are already old won't have many good days left to live even if they aren't arrogant, don't you think? Said Long Chen. In any case, with Evil Moon's promise, he wasn't afraid. He directly mocked this elder for not having much longevity left. Master, don't waste words with him. Give me the coiling dragon staff. I'll kill this arrogant brat. The arrival of the elder gave Yi King Kuang breathing room, and his broken arm was healed along with his other injuries. The Titan Sect's divine item, the steel coiling dragon staff. Legend says it's a divine item crafted from the finest divine steel ore from the depths of the Eastern Sea. A fist sized chunk of that ore is as heavy as a mountain. The steel coiling dragon staff's weight is definitely terrifying. Quiet gossip began to spread through the crowd. Amongst them, there were quite a few erudite people who knew some of the history of the Titan sect. Doesn't this elder's arrival already prove that Yi King Kuang has lost? At the very least, the power of his fists is inferior to Long Chen, I suppose. Now Yi King Kuang wants to rely on a weapon advantage to beat Long Chen and regain his honor. In their previous fight, victory and defeat had been clear. Yi King Kuang hadn't even been able to retaliate. The staff in the elder's hand suddenly vanished and appeared in Yi King Kuang's hands. When he grasped it, the steel coiling dragon staff suddenly lit up. Yi King Kuang's aura changed once more. Long Chen, I suppose you might not know this, but my Titan sect's Titan art is inherited through the steel coiling dragon staff. Yi King Kuang laughed crazily, pointing the staff at Long Chen. In other words, the majority of my combat power depends on the steel coiling dragon staff. Now that I have it along with the titan art, my power is unstoppable. With it, I can split mountains and seas, destroy heaven and earth, and shake the cosmos. Long Chen, you can die at peace knowing you forced me to this point. Yi King Kuang raised the staff. Divine light exploded as it whistled toward Long Chen. Chapter 1491 What is called Courting Death Translator Born to be a divine item, startled cries rang out as the steel coiling dragon staff was activated. It was the divine item of the Titan sect. Although he's unable to bring out the power of a divine item, Yi King Kuang's Titan art is closely connected to the steel coiling dragon staff, so he doesn't need to activate its divine power. He can just use its weight to smash Long Chen to bits. Many people assumed that Long Chen was simply doomed now. Dragonbone Evil Moon appeared on Long Chen's shoulder again, and he held it with one hand. Evil Moon's voice rang out in his head once more. Nothing more than a quasi-divine item. Furthermore, that brat can't even unleash its divine power and is only capable of using it to passively increase his power. 
I'm not going to help you against something like that. If you can't even beat that, you should just kill yourself. Long Chen snorted, but he didn't say anything. In this kind of scenario, he also hadn't been planning on having Evil Moon's help. In terms of power, he had never feared anyone. The Black Evil Moon hacked down like a black bolt of lightning. There was no fanciness. It was a simple direct hack. Bang. The two divine items clashed. Heaven and Earth lost all their color, and the world lost all its sound. This was the result of the divine runes on the divine items defending themselves. Neither the steel coiling dragon staff nor dragon bone evil moon had unleashed their divine might, but this was a passive defensive power invoked when divine items clashed. The result of their divine runes clashing gave off this misperception of time standing still, but that quickly ended as time began to flow once more. One figure smashed into the ground, unleashing a huge wave of earth. How? How is that possible shockingly? The one blown back was the incomparably confident Ji King Kuang who had been using the steel coiling dragon staff. He was still unable to receive a single blow even when he was using a divine item. People felt like they were going insane. Just how powerful was Long Chen? Look, that black saber, it has to have reached the level of a divine item. Some people managed to see through the clues. Even though they saw this treasure, no one was filled with greed. They were fully intimidated by Long Chen's power. Long Chen lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, looking at Ji King Kuang crawling out of the ground. His expression was apologetic. Sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. Something about splitting mountains and seas, destroying heaven and earth, shaking the cosmos, and how I can die at peace? Can you repeat it for me? A slap in the face. This was definitely a naked slap in the face. Who would have thought that returning the same words Yi King Kuang had just said would result in such a resounding slap? Yi King Kuang was ashen, his eyes scarlet. He had no way to retort to Long Chen's words. He had an urge to find a hole to hide in and never come out. That was just how merciless Long Chen's current words were. Seeing that Yi King Kuang had been driven almost insane, Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng exchanged a glance. They both silently nodded. Suddenly, the two of them attacked. A dark gold broadsword appeared in Sha Guangyan's hands, while a golden halberd appeared in Pen Wancheng's hands. Both of these weapons were unleashing terrifying divine might. They were divine items. The two of them silently slashed their weapons at Long Chen's back. They were extremely quick, reaching him in practically the same instant as they attacked. Damn. Seriously? Two soul transformation Empyreans would actually launch a sneak attack. People were practically unable to believe their eyes. Did they still care about their faces at all? They didn't know that Long Chen had already exchanged blows with Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan. The two of them knew just how terrifying Long Chen was. Long Chen hadn't even shown his true trump cards yet in his fight against Yi King Kuang. Although both Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan had broken through to soul transformation, they hadn't solidified their cultivation bases yet. The power they could unleash was limited. Now seeing Long Chen already so terrifying, their original confidence was starting to be shaken. Long Chen was like a deep well. No one could tell how deep he went. You could have learned from anyone, but you still decided to learn the blood kill hall shameful skills. You really disappoint me. As startled cries were ringing out from the city, Long Chen spun. Dragonbone Evil Moon smashed into their weapons just as they were about to reach him. Boom. A powerful explosion erupted, but Long Chen's figure was not shaken in the least. He was like an immovable boulder. Scram. An irresistible power surged through Evil Moon, and Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng were sent flying. Ever since the Divine Gate Star had absorbed the Heaven and Earth Divine Spring of the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, his physical body had undergone a huge transformation. He was now much stronger than before. Furthermore, the Divine Gate Star was still slowly absorbing the Divine Spring from the Blood Kill Hall. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Art was going through some kind of transformation. Now, in terms of power, Long Chen had reached an unprecedented level. This was something he hadn't even realized until he had started fighting all out. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng didn't specialize in power in the first place, so they were both blown away by Long Chen. With a one-handed simple swing of his saber, Long Chen had knocked back two Empyreans. 
all the experts had a certain thought unconsciously surfacing in their hearts. Long Chen was truly about to defy the heavens. He would no longer have an equal opponent within the same realm. After blowing them away, Long Chen suddenly gripped his saber with both hands, hacking Evil Moon down. Boom. Just at that moment, Yi King Kuang's steel coiling dragon staff smashed over. Their weapons clashed once more. Yi King Kuang coughed up blood and was sent tumbling back once more, blood pouring from his hands. Bastard. It's because my bottleneck is too loose that it's making my fighting power unstable. Since you want to die, then just die. Yi King Kuang suddenly let out a furious roar, and his aura began to surge violently. Heaven and earth became dim. Heavens. He still has another trump card? What a monster. People were shocked. At this time, he actually wanted to advance? Trump card my ass. He. He's undergoing tribulation. This bastard. Is he trying to draw in everyone in the city? Run. When people looked up at the sky, their expressions changed. Heavens. These are tribulation clouds. Does he want to undergo tribulation here? That bastard. How many people will he kill like this? Furious roars rang out. Long Chen and the others were fighting thousands of miles away. But these tribulation clouds covered tens of thousands of miles. Anyone who was sensed by the tribulation would be annihilated. Yi King Kuang was a Jade Core expert advancing to soul transformation. And as an Empyrean, the power of his tribulation was extremely great. Chaos spread in the eastern Xuan city as experts fled. But the weaker people couldn't possibly escape in time. The ones who were most terrified were the people who had families in the city. There were some women and children who hadn't even reached the Xi'anshan realm. Rumbling filled the sky. The tribulation lightning was about to descend. It's over. All over. Despair filled people's hearts. Those people below the Xi'anshan realm couldn't possibly escape. Although the core of the tribulation was Yi King Kuang, a lightning tribulation on this scale covered a huge range. Anyone within that range would be sensed and killed. Furious roars rang out from within the city, as well as the cries of women and children. This person deserves to die. A touch of killing intent blazed in Zi Yan's eyes. She was about to go out. Don't panic. We have the seven string C suppressing zither. We can protect them, said the beautiful woman, holding her back. However, that Titan sect's master and disciple really are good for nothings. The young one goes through tribulation, while the old one doesn't do anything. Ah, the righteous path really isn't the original righteous path. Their carriage had a formation to screen them from the heavens, so they weren't afraid of the tribulation. They had no intention of dodging. There was also another group of experts that had retreated, but not completely. They had their own ancestral items that could screen them from the heavens. Save us. We don't want to die. The weak people in the city cried out, hoping for the experts to protect them. But no one bothered with them. Old Bay, if the tribulation lightning falls on the city, activate the Nine Heavens Nether Passage formation to divert the lightning that falls. That brute Yi King Kuang, he's going to cost us two years of profit. Jung Wenlong was still in the city, having an aggrieved expression. If this formation was activated, the Huaian sect would be paying a large price out of their pocket. Boom. Just as the tribulation clouds finished forming and were about to unleash their lightning, a saber image tore into the sky, breaking the tribulation clouds and creating a hole in them. It was like tribulation clouds that were about to take off their pants and piss on all of them were kicked in the ass. And as a result, their piss ended up held in. This Long Chen, he, he actually attacked the tribulation clouds. Is he crazy? After a brief moment of stunned silence, shocked cries rang out. The one to attack was actually Long Chen. The tribulation clouds were forced to regather, giving them more time to escape. However, the tribulation clouds that were regathering contained a terrifying will. The heavens were enraged. Now the tribulation clouds were even stronger than before. As for Long Chen, after destroying the clouds, he attacked Ji King Kuang blowing him away. Long Chen chased after him, blowing him away time and time again. Yi King Kuang repeatedly coughed up blood as he was forced further away from the eastern Xuan city. Long Chen, he's sacrificing his life to win time for us. Only now did people realize Long Chen's goal. The tribulation clouds finished gathering again. 
Just as the lightning was about to fall, Long Chen attacked it, destroying the clouds again. This time, heaven and earth rumbled. Endless tribulation clouds surged. The heavens, they were enraged. All my investment, it's all gone. Long Chen really is doomed this time. Zhang Wenlong was filled with despair as he looked up at the endless black tribulation clouds in the sky. Chapter 1492 Five Colored Lightning Thunders Translator Born to be the very first time Long Chen had attacked the tribulation clouds, he had provoked the heaven's fury. He was completely locked onto by the tribulation clouds, and he would be forced to go through the tribulation with Yi King Kuang. However, Long Chen hadn't broken through. His cultivation base was still at the peak of the Jade Core Realm, so now he had truly courted death. Having gone straight up against the heavens, the conclusion was obvious to all. So, that cold and hard exterior actually hid such a kind heart. Long Chen is a true peerless hero. On one hand, we have an evil, despicable person who, despite clearly having been defeated, drew heavenly tribulation to kill his opponent with external power. On the other hand, we have a savior who is willing to go against heavenly tribulation, sacrificing his life to save the lives of the innocents. Just how grand is his heart, praised an elder. Now Long Chen had forced Yi King Kuang far away. Although the tribulation clouds still covered the eastern Xuan city, the core was already very far away, and the lightning tribulation wouldn't reach the city. The people who hadn't managed to escape in time had all been saved. They looked at that indistinct figure in the distance, filled with gratitude. They had no relationship with Long Chen. In fact, many of them had looked at him with indifference, or with the attitude of people watching a show when he had been surrounded by enemies just now. However, for them, he had repeatedly attacked the tribulation. No one could survive after infuriating the heavens, so his actions made them all feel ashamed. He actually sacrificed his life to save us who have nothing to do with him. You're saying that such a person would destroy his own sect? You're all despicable slanderers a youth only at the Xi'anshan realm roared angrily. His roar shook everyone's hearts. If Long Chen really was such an evil person, how could he sacrifice his life for them? Obviously, he's just trying to leave behind a good name for himself before his death. What a cunning and sinister man. Truly despicable fuck off. That person couldn't even finish speaking before an expert cut off his head. Blood spurted into the air. An idiot like you isn't fit to live in this world. An arrow pierced the head, destroying that person's Yuan spirit. Long Chen said that we have our own eyes, that we have our own heads. We have to decide right and wrong for ourselves, not blindly follow others. As for those prejudiced people with a shadow on their hearts, their words are nothing more than farts. In any case, you could beat me to death before I'd believe Long Chen is that kind of person, roared the man who had shot the head. I also believe that Long Chen isn't such a person. Following that, all the people in the city roared along. Although their cultivation bases were low, the roaring of millions and millions of people caused the sky to change color. Even the tribulation clouds in the sky shook. This was the belief of all these experts. They had been stuck in the city and had been about to die from the tribulation. They firmly believed that Long Chen was a peerless hero, and this belief gathered together to form a kind of invisible energy that even affected the heavens. With this one move, Long Chen has proven himself to be innocent. What unrivaled intelligence, praised an elder beside Zheng Wenlong. You've overestimated him. With my understanding of him, he'd disdain doing such a thing. His thinking is very simple. It's simply because some of these people supported him. Even if there was only one child who believed him, he'd draw the lightning tribulation away for that child. Long Chen is simply Long Chen. He is unique and unmatched. This world will never have a second one like him. However, now he's in trouble, and I can't help him. Zheng Wenlong's voice was first full of pride and admiration, but toward the end, it became vexed and unresigned. In the face of such a terrifying tribulation, no one could save Long Chen. Within the carriage, Zi Yan and the woman were silent. The woman's expression was complicated. Now, even if it was her, she wouldn't be able to harden her heart enough to attack Long Chen. Just as everyone was watching from the distance, two figures shot into motion, charging into the lightning tribulation as well. They what are they doing? 
Everyone was shocked. The world of peak experts isn't something we can comprehend. But my guess is that Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan aren't confident that Long Chen will die. So they've charged in as well to make sure he dies. Because Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan have already gone through their soul transformation tribulation. They're confident of surviving this one. Along with Yi King Kuang, they're Empyreans, the favorites of heaven and earth. The heavenly tribulation won't kill them. To the heavenly tribulation, three of them are like sons, while one is an outsider, an outsider that dared to provoke it at that. Long Chen, he, Sai, he's definitely dead. A white-haired elder learning on a cane sighed regretfully. However, despite his age, there was a reserved light in his eyes. He was an extremely powerful figure. This elder had seen through the clues. When Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng charged into the tribulation, the tribulation grew even stronger. However, they hadn't provoked the anger of the heavens, so they wouldn't be killed by the tribulation. It was like there was a farmer, and four children had made a mess of his farmhouse. Three were his children, while one was an outsider. The fury of the heavenly tribulation was concentrated on Long Chen. Yi King Kuang's tribulation was growing stronger and stronger. This strengthening of his tribulation would actually be beneficial to him as long as he survived, which was essentially guaranteed since he was an Empyrean. As for Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanshang, they had just gone through their own tribulation, and it just so happened they could use this tribulation to wipe out some of the flaws from their advancement. Long Chen saw that the distance he had created was about enough and so he stopped. He was no saint, but he didn't want to implicate the people who had supported him or the people who knew nothing. As for provoking the heavenly tribulation, TCH, that wasn't something rare for him. He had long since become the target of the heavens, and he didn't mind provoking them some more. It just so happened that he wanted to confirm something. He saw Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng arrive in the tribulation and surround him. However, he ignored them. He once more attacked the heavenly tribulation with a black saber image. Crazy. He's definitely gone crazy. Is he worried he hasn't doomed himself enough? Zhang Wenlong felt like he was also going crazy. Long Chen wasn't giving himself the slightest chance at survival. The tribulation clouds were once more broken and then even more gathered. In the beginning, the tribulation clouds had just been a couple of hundred meters thick. But now they were thousands of meters thick. It was like a huge black pot had covered the sky, and the might of the heavens was growing stronger and stronger. Even the people in the distant eastern Xuan city could feel that apocalyptic power. In front of this heavenly might, many people in the city were forced to kneel on the ground, their faces pale. They didn't even dare to raise their heads. These kneeling people were ordinary cultivators or some lower-ranking celestials. They had no choice but to submit. Cultivators cultivated the heavenly deos, so no one dared to go against the heavenly deos. Only higher ranking celestials could keep themselves standing. They were now so far that even with the eyesight of cultivators, they could barely see four indistinct figures. Long Chen, your ability at courting death is admirable. Sha Guangyan was happy to see Long Chen continuously attack the tribulation clouds. In their eyes, Long Chen was purely courting death for himself. They were Empyreans, and the heavenly tribulation treated them as family. Even if they closed their eyes, they could pass their tribulation. They wanted to borrow the heavenly tribulation to kill Long Chen. But unexpectedly, Long Chen was even helping them by attacking it himself. He was vainly trying to increase the power of the tribulation to make it more difficult for Yi King Kuang to pass. They found such foolish thinking laughable. Long Chen also found it laughable. He was smiling just like them, but his smile was very strange. He indifferently said, Pen Wansheng, do you remember when you said favored were commoners, celestials were officials, and Empyreans were crown princes? Back then, I was very puzzled. If you are the crown prince, who is the emperor? But now I know that it's the heavenly deos. So today, I want to see just how much this emperor really loves you. Long Chen suddenly charged at the tribulation clouds again, and black light shot out of his saber, stabbing into it. Will you refuse to attack your sons? Fuck. Where did all your vigor go when you were attacking me? Garbage thing. Do you need me to slap you? Split the heavens for. 
Now Long Chen was no longer just using ordinary attacks, but the power of split the heavens. Boom. The tribulation clouds were split in two. In that instant, the world suddenly froze and lost all sound. Up in the sky, the only thing people saw was Long Chen holding Evil Moon, coldly looking at the dome of the heavens. That sight would never be forgotten by anyone who saw it. Boom. The sky suddenly exploded, and the world turned dark. The sun was completely gone. Endless heavenly might fell, and the air felt like it had vanished. Even in the city, people were suffocating. The tribulation clouds no longer gathered. Instead, huge cracks appeared in the clouds, and what came from those clouds was endless five-colored lightning. It's five-colored tribulation lightning. Long Chen has completely infuriated the heavens. Now even they might not be able to escape. The tribulation will not differentiate between friend and foe. The beautiful woman in the carriage looked at this with shock. Chapter 1493 Fighting Against Heavenly Genius's Translator Born to be the legendary five-colored tribulation lightning was a destructive lightning, one that could destroy anything in the world. Anything that had been locked onto by five-colored divine lightning would be annihilated. In the cultivation world, the most solemn oath was sworn on being struck by five-colored lightning. Beneath five-colored lightning, you would be destroyed in body and soul. And now, up in the sky, five-colored tribulation lightning was pouring out of the crack Long Chen had cut in the sky. It rapidly spread, filling the sky. Even as far away as the eastern Xuan city was, the experts were all petrified by the sight of the radiant five-colored lightning. They were afraid that the slightest movement might draw the lightning's attention and kill them. This five-colored lightning was something that only existed in legend. It was recorded in ancient tomes, but no one had ever seen it personally. There's been different colored lightning before, but not a five-colored one. Good. Then let me see whether your love for your three sons will hold when I'm added to the mix. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face as he looked at the five-colored lightning. Long Chen, Yi Qingkuang, Sha Guangyan, and Pen Wanchen were all within the domain of the five-colored lightning. Other than Long Chen. All their expressions changed. Not only did their expressions change, but even the expression of Yi King Kuang's face became unsightly. Furthermore, two elders also came out of two other carriages, looking at the scene in front of them nervously. These two elders came from the ancient races and ancient families. They were extremely powerful, but despite that power, they could only watch from a distance. They didn't even dare to speak for fear of being locked onto by the lightning. It seems your father is angry. I wonder whether he'll exterminate all of you just because of a little outsider like me. Long Chen then slashed his saber at the sky once more in front of everyone's horrified gazes. A huge saber image created another crack in the tribulation clouds. Along with the previous clash, it formed a huge cross. A torrent of five-colored lightning grew even stronger. In the distance. The experts wielding photographic jades had their photographic jades destroyed by some kind of power. Long Chen, you madman, kill him quickly, roared Sha Guangyan. He could see that Long Chen didn't want to live. What he wanted was to bring them all down with him. The five-colored tribulation lightning was booming above. It had completely escaped its restrictions, wanting to destroy them as well. Even their status as Empyreans had lost effect against it. If they didn't kill Long Chen immediately and allowed him to continue infuriating the tribulation, they would all be doomed. However, before the three of them could attack, the five-colored lightning crashed down. Huge thunderbolts shot down, enveloping Long Chen, Yi Qingkuang, Sha Guangyan, and Pen Wansheng. This lightning was incredibly powerful, and it was full of terrifying destructive will. The three of them were forced to go all out against this lightning. Their bodies were quivering. Yet, Long Chen was immersed within the torrent of lightning. The lightning would explode when it landed on him and transform into five colored runes. That natural and easy appearance was like he was taking a bath, not undergoing tribulation. This five colored lightning was extremely berserk. Each strike was equivalent to the full strength attack of a normal life star expert. Most terrifying of all was the destructive will within it. It was something that destroyed a person's body and mind. It made people feel despair. However, this lightning was unable to cause any injuries to Long Chen. After all, since the blood condensation realm, 
Long Chen had repeatedly undergone tribulation. All his experiences had accumulated into a large immunity against lightning. This fatal lightning wasn't much to him. At the very least, he didn't have to bother with it at this intensity. Not bad. Long Chen, you have some gods. Now I understand why the heavenly deos don't like you. Dragonbone Evil Moon sent Long Chen a message. Its voice contained the slightest bit of admiration now. Clearly, this fearless courage of Long Chen's had surprised it a bit. That was because Evil Moon had always looked down on Long Chen personally. It felt Long Chen was too soft-hearted. But this display made its impression of Long Chen change. Evil Moon was rejected by the Heavenly Deos due to undergoing too much slaughter. That was why Long Chen had to use more energy to use battle skills with it. However, Long Chen was also rejected by the Heavenly Deos, and he even dared to go against them. That won him some praise from Evil Moon, because it didn't dare to do the same. Long Chen, within this domain of five colored lightning, no one else can interfere in your battle. I can't, and they can't either, including those people in the carriages. No one would dare to activate the power of divine items here. In other words, the four of you will be fighting entirely with your true, personal power. Whether they kill you or you kill them, no one will be able to save anyone, said Evil Moon. Why is that? asked Long Chen. This five-colored lightning has condensed endless destructive will. It is independent of the heavenly deos, and so it will kill anyone, including Empyreans. But if a divine item was activated within this domain, it would be instantly caught by the heavenly deos. This five-colored lightning would instantly become divine lightning, let alone you four. No one within tens of thousands of miles would exist in that case. So as long as they don't want to die, none of them will activate their divine items. That would be no different than suicide, explained Evil Moon. What if someone activates their divine item in panic in order to bring me down with them? asked Long Chen. He had to get a grasp of this new information. What a joke. Do you think divine items can be activated by anyone? Without reaching the life star realm and condensing astral energy, how could they activate the power of their divine items? The only exception would be if the divine item wanted to help them. But do you think divine items are stupid? Would they actually be willing to end up destroying themselves? Let alone them. Even those old fellows over there wouldn't be able to force a divine item to do anything if it didn't want to. So be at ease, said Evil Moon a bit irritably. Hearing this, Long Chen was delighted. Without the threat of divine items, and with the protection of this five-colored lightning, he could dominate this fight. Lai Long had already finished devouring the lightning chains from his last tribulation. It had grown incredibly powerful and now this five-colored lightning was being silently absorbed by it. It was full of excitement as if it had encountered a peerless delicacy. I'm not in a rush to handle them. Lai Long, do your best to absorb as much of the five-colored lightning as you can, but be careful. For now, don't get sensed by the tribulation, said Long Chen. He found that the current tribulation was different from before. The first wave of this tribulation was already so terrifying. So Lai Long needed some time to slowly digest this new energy. Suddenly, the rain of lightning around him exploded as a staff smashed toward Long Chen. Finally, the three of them had lost patience. Yi King Kuang was the first to attack. At the same time, Sha Guanggayan and Peng Wancheng also launched attacks. Their three divine items were hurling toward Long Chen. I wasn't in a rush, but it seems these sons have gotten anxious. Then today, let's have an all-out fight. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon. His first target was Yi King Kuang's steel coiling dragon staff. In terms of power, Yi King Kuang was fundamentally not a match for Long Chen. He was blown away. Void Breaker, Heavy Earth Ascension Sha Guanggayan and Peng Wancheng's attacks arrived. The runes on Peng Wancheng's wings were lit, while the earth rune on Sha Guanggayan's forehead was glowing. Down below, the ground began to shine with a dark gold luster. Endless energy was gathering from it. Although the two of them weren't able to activate the power of their divine items, when they unleashed their full power, they also possessed the power to shake heaven and earth. When the two of them combined forces, they seemed unstoppable. Sha Guanggayan and Peng Wancheng were feeling an intense sense of crisis. This five-colored lightning was an existence from legend. Just the first wave was already so difficult to bear. 
Who knew how terrifying it would become later? Their status as Empyreans was no longer able to protect them. This heavenly tribulation didn't care about them. It would kill them all. Their only choice was to kill Long Chen before the tribulation reached its strongest level. Otherwise, they would really be in danger. The lightning tribulation was Yi King Kuang's, but it was Long Chen who had drawn the five colored lightning. Even if Yi King Kuang died and the tribulation ended, the five colored lightning would continue. If Long Chen didn't die, the five colored lightning wouldn't stop. Long Chen slash met with their two divine items. Lightning exploded as their three divine items were locked together. Dai, Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanchen poured their power into their weapons, wanting to send Long Chen flying. This was an extremely important exchange. If they could blow Long Chen away, they would take the advantage. Under a torrent of attacks, Long Chen who was forced into a passive position might very likely be defeated just like that. However, as they unleashed all their power, they were shocked to find that Long Chen's power seemed endless. They were unable to shake him in the slightest. Just at this moment, Yi King Kuang came flying back, the steel coiling dragon staff smashing toward Long Chen's side. Just wait, it'll be your turn soon, snorted Long Chen. Dragonbone Evil Moon shook three times suddenly, and Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan felt their wrists almost break. They noticed a portion of their energy being absorbed. As for Long Chen's saber, it knocked their weapons into the air as it slashed toward Yi King Kuang. Not good. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng's expressions changed, but it was too late to warn Yi King Kuang. They could only focus on attacking Long Chen again. Boom. Long Chen's saber viciously slashed into Yi King Kuang's staff. As for Sha Guangyan's sword and Sha Guangyan's halberd, they landed on Long Chen's back. Chapter 1494 Just a bit off translator. Born to be Dragonbone Evil Moon slashed heavily onto Yi King Kuang's steel coiling dragon staff. Yi King Kuang's arms were instantly broken, and the steel coiling dragon staff smashed into his own body. Blood spurted out of him. His body cracked like porcelain and almost exploded. Yi King Kuang smashed into the ground. It was unknown if he was alive or dead. This attack of Long Chen's hadn't just contained his own power, but also some of Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanshang's. It was incredibly powerful. Most terrifying of all was that this attack had not been a battle skill. He hadn't accumulated any energy or shown any signs of using it. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng hadn't even had a chance to warn Yi King Kuang before Long Chen's attack struck. However, as for Long Chen himself, at the same time as he sent Yi King Kuang flying, his back was struck by Pen Wancheng and Sha Guangyan's weapons. The sound of bones breaking came from his back and he also coughed up blood and was blown into the distance. He had exchanged injury for injury, but it had been planned. Having borrowed and cancelled out part of their power, Long Chen got struck by less than 30% of it Noveloon.com that was why he had dared to take their attacks on his back. But divine items were still divine items, and even when they weren't releasing their divine might, they heavily injured him. However, he didn't mind. The life energy within the primal chaos space poured through his body, rapidly healing him. Oh? So the power contained within divine items is actually this difficult to expel Long Chen found that these injuries required much more energy to heal. Furthermore, they took several times as long. Fortunately, his injuries weren't that grave. Although he didn't instantly heal, his injuries were suppressed quickly and didn't affect his movements. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back and he flew toward the one who had smashed into the ground, Yi King Kuang. Injuring ten fingers wasn't as good as severing one finger. That was why he had taken the risk to exchange injury for injury. He wanted to kill Yi King Kuang to remove one of his three opponents. The three of them were all Empyreans, and they had advanced to soul transformation. Furthermore, they were holding three divine items and so Long Chen's weapon advantage was non-existent. When surrounded by the three of them, the slightest mistake would cause him to lose his life. So eliminating one of them as fast as possible was the key to victory. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wanchen were delighted that their weapons had landed. They expected Long Chen to be heavily injured, allowing them to kill him with the next blow. However, they quickly saw that Long Chen was still lively and rushing straight toward Yi King Kuang. Stop him. If any of you dies, the other two will definitely die as well. 
Within the five colored lightning, no one can save you Yi King Kuang's elder shouted from a distance. Buzz. Before he could finish speaking, a bolt of five colored lightning struck him. It was like divine retribution. The world froze, and no one dared to move, including the experts from the carriages. The elder exploded on contact with the lightning. Everyone's hearts shook. That had been a peak life star expert, and he had been killed in one blow. The five colored lightning's power was based on the provoker. Clearly, this elder shouting had been captured by the heavenly deos and was treated as a provocation of the heavens, resulting in this terrifying blow. After that terrifying attack, everyone felt suffocated and panted crazily. The door to the carriage was opened, and a large figure walked out once more. It was the elder who had just been slain by the five colored lightning. It was actually a substitute art. Some people saw through the clues. No wonder this elder had dared to give a warning. He had used his substitute art while his true body hid in the carriage. The carriage had a heaven-cheating formation around it to screen off the heavens. So although the substitute was killed, the main body was safe in the carriage. However, this elder's face was now slightly pale. Clearly, the loss of his substitute came with a price. However, it had been worth it. Through his warning, Sha Guanggian and Pen Wanchen realized just how dire their current situation was. Pen Wanchen flapped his wings and instantly vanished, reappearing in front of Long Chen and attacking with his halberd. Scram! shouted Long Chen. His injuries had mostly healed, and Evil Moon hacked down like a bolt of black lightning. Boom! Pen Wanchen's halberd shook violently, and he was sent flying. In terms of power, he was not even close to Long Chen. After blowing him away, Long Chen continued to go after Yi King Kuang. He could see him covered in blood and terrified. Long Chen's first attack had almost killed him. Now he was using his heavenly Tao energy to heal. But he was horrified to find that his injuries had some kind of evil energy in them. It was like a curse, constantly worsening his injuries. This energy came from Dragonbone Evil Moon's innate will to slaughter. Because it had slaughtered too many life forms. It had been infected with endless resentment. As an ancient, evil weapon, it had existed for countless years and had lived for slaughter. Its attacks naturally contained endless resentment. To be injured by it was to be invaded by all that resentment. This resentment was the resentment of all the life forms that had been slain by it. It was like a curse. Yi King Kuang's heavenly Tao energy was going all out to heal himself. But this terrifying resentment made the healing process too slow. He still couldn't move and definitely couldn't receive Long Chen's next attack. Now he was terrified as he looked at Long Chen. His body quivered as he prepared to block, but he knew that this block would be useless. Earthen borders, in the distance, Sha Guanggian had landed on the ground at some unknown time and stabbed his broadsword into the earth. Huge earthen sword soared out of the ground, shooting at Long Chen, split the heavens for a huge saber image slashed through these earthen swords. The swords exploded, but just as the saber image was about to reach Yi King Kuang, the ground split open, and a large hand slammed out. The hand exploded, while the saber image created a bottomless ditch in the ground. Yi King Kuang had vanished. You want to beat us one by one? Too bad. We won't let you. Sha Guanggian sneered in the distance. Yi King Kuang was by his side. He had used some sort of secret art to summon two defensive moves at once and save Yi King Kuang. Many thanks. Yi King Kuang had long since lost his original arrogance. If it hadn't been for Pen Wancheng and Sha Guanggian's interference, this world would no longer have a Yi King Kuang in it. As an Empyrean, he had never imagined a day where he would be killed by someone. But today, he had almost died. Thinking about it gave him chills. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and looked at them with a cold smile. Under the endless torrent of lightning, his expression was still calm. If I can't beat you one by one, I don't mind beating you all together. Long Chen had long since gotten used to the heaven-defying karmic luck of heavenly geniuses. Killing them was truly difficult. Their luck was always so good. Yet, he trusted that you couldn't survive off luck. If he couldn't kill his opponent, he couldn't blame their luck. He could only blame himself for not being strong enough. If he was strong enough to kill them in one blow, then no matter how great their luck was, it would still be nonsense. Yi King Kuang, focus on healing. 
Long Chen's difficult to handle, and we'll need to work together. Furthermore, we have to kill him before the tribulation reaches its strongest state. Otherwise, who knows what will happen, said Sha Guangyan. Right now, Yi King Kuang was the only one that could compete with Long Chen in terms of power. Without him, there was no chance of them killing Long Chen. Sha Guangyan's voice now contained some worry. He found that the lightning was growing stronger and stronger. The five-colored lightning was difficult to endure, and if it continued growing stronger, it would gravely affect their fighting power. What made them feel the most helpless was that their heavenly Daruns were ineffective against this five-colored lightning. Long Chen simply stood there with no intention to attack again. Yi King Kuang was quickly healing. Having lost the chance to kill him, Long Chen wouldn't be given another chance. After all, they were peak experts, and they wouldn't make the same mistake twice. The four of them simply stared at each other. The people watching felt like a boulder was crushing their hearts. This battle was absolutely terrifying. So terrifying that they almost couldn't believe that what they were witnessing was reality. As more time passed, the lightning transformed into huge spheres that fell from the sky and exploded like bombs. Each sphere was 300 meters wide and was like a raindrop, but they created huge pits in the ground. Attack. Suddenly, Sha Guangyan, Pen Wansheng, and Yi King Kuang attacked at the same time. It seemed they wanted to settle victory or defeat right here and now. Chapter 1495 Lightning Covers the Land Translator Born to be Sha Guangyan, Pen Wansheng, and Yi King Kuang had summoned all the power they had at their disposal. They couldn't hold back at all. Light flowed around their divine items as they attacked once more. They were intent on killing Long Chen in one breath. Long Chen let out a furious roar, and green light soared from his scales. Wielding his saber with both hands, he charged out at the three of them. The collisions of divine items caused the world to alternate between light and dark. As they crazily fought, the torrent of lightning exploded around them. The people in the distance could only vaguely see four figures within the lightning. That terrifying pressure had completely twisted space and made it seem like what they were seeing was illusory. No one dared to even blink an eye. They were afraid of missing even an instant of this scene. In this kind of terrifying barrage, one of them could die at any moment. Long Chen's too terrifying. If Empyreans are monsters, then Long Chen is a monster amongst monsters. He's not at a disadvantage even one against three, praised the white-robed elder beside Jung Wenlong. Be careful. If you say the wrong thing, you might lose your life, warned Jung Wenlong. The white-robed elder's expression changed slightly. He had actually forgotten that saying the wrong thing within the domain of this tribulation could be sensed by the heavenly deos and invoke karma. Yi King Kuang's master was a good example of that. The white-robed elder shut his mouth. He didn't even dare to send spiritual messages and simply watched. As for weaker experts, they couldn't even speak under this terrifying pressure. The huge eastern Xuan city was silent. The four of them were crazily fighting in the lightning. Sha Guangyan and Pen Wancheng's hearts shook. As they fought, Yi King Kuang was growing stronger. This five-colored tribulation lightning was tempering him rapidly. He had already gained the aura of a soul transformation expert. His aura was still chaotic and fluctuating, but his power was now soaring. Although he couldn't match Long Chen, he could still manage to block him with their help. Long Chen's heavy attacks were all blocked by him. It was only because of Yi King Kuang that the other two could fight against Long Chen. They thanked their luck that they had saved Yi King Kuang back then, or without him, they wouldn't have been able to survive. Five colored lightning surrounded Long Chen. It had formed a set of armor around him, preventing him from being injured by the torrent of lightning falling from the sky. As for Sha Guangyan, Pen Wansheng, and Yi King Kuang, they were forced to divert a part of their energy to resist the lightning. As a result, both sides ended up having their advantages and disadvantages. They fought for a full two hours without determining a victor. Damn it, how can he have so much spiritual yuan? He clearly isn't absorbing energy from heaven and earth to replenish it. Sha Guangyan ground his teeth. It wasn't just Sha Guangyan who was confused by this. Considering there were three Empyreans with their manifestations in full bloom. All the energy of heaven and earth was sucked dry by them. Long Chen couldn't absorb energy to replenish his spiritual yuan. 
His divine ring was active, but it was focused on resisting the suppression of their three manifestations. It wasn't absorbing any energy from the world. According to reason, Long Chen's spiritual yuan should have run dry an hour ago. Even the three of them who were absorbing all the energy in the air were using more energy than they were replenishing. They didn't even have half their spiritual yuan left. Boom. Just as the three of them were growing anxious about this, an explosive sound came from the sky. They saw that the cross-shaped crack Long Chen had cut into the sky had exploded due to some energy. It had formed a huge hole in the sky. Countless five-colored figures began to descend from the sky. They were terrifying lightning beasts. There were drakes, phoenixes, wolves, insects, tigers, leopards, essentially anything that existed. Flying ones, swimming ones, running ones. They were all present. Some of these were beasts that no one had ever seen or even heard of. Each of these lightning beasts was as large as a mountain. They charged toward the four of them. Sha Guangyan was the first to be struck. He was sent flying by Long Chen into the mouth of a lightning python. Break. A roar came from within the lightning python's mouth, and its head exploded. Sha Guangyan flew out. However, his face was a bit pale with fright. When he had been devoured, he had entered a strange space with endless lightning chains coming to bind him. If he hadn't had a divine item to break those lightning chains, he might have been bound. This lightning python was just one of the millions of lightning beasts that had appeared. He had almost died to just one. This five-colored lightning was truly worthy of being the legendary Annihilation Lightning. They were Empyreans, and every time they underwent tribulation, the heavens would pamper them. The heavens would send down powerful but gentle lightning to expel the impurities in their bodies and make sure their advancement was as perfect as possible. To them, heavenly tribulation was like a gentle mother. But today, it had become an evil stepmother who wanted them dead. The four of them had no choice but to focus on blocking these lightning beasts. In truth, the majority of the lightning beasts were charging toward Long Chen. That proved that the main target of the five-colored lightning was still Long Chen. When the endless lightning beasts appeared, over a thousand five-colored dragons also appeared around Long Chen, fighting crazily against them. How? How is that possible? Zi Yan was filled with shock. How could the lightning beasts start fighting against each other? In the next instant, she realized that these dragons were not the beasts of the lightning tribulation, but Long Chen's thunder force. Long Chen had had Lai Long absorb the five-colored lightning from the start. It had silently sent its split bodies throughout the lightning tribulation, absorbing it. Having already transformed to become five-colored as well, its split bodies were like fish in water. No one had noticed them. When Long Chen had been fighting against them, he hadn't used any thunder force. He had merely kept Lai Long's main body with him to absorb any tribulation lightning that attacked him. Lai Long was truly gluttonous. It had summoned 1800 split bodies in one go. That was its limit. 1800 split bodies had been greedily devouring the five-colored lightning tribulation this entire time. When the time came and they merged together, Lai Long would grow to a terrifying level. However, right now, they had yet to merge again. Its split bodies might not be extremely powerful individually but they had completely transformed to become the same as this five-colored lightning. The tribulation lightning beasts ended up viewing them as coming from the same source, and so they didn't attack Lai Long. They only charged at Long Chen. Fortunately, Lai Long didn't view them as coming from the same source. It viewed them purely as fat pieces of meat, and it crazily devoured them. These huge lightning beasts were incredibly fierce, but they didn't possess minds. They didn't know how to fight against themselves and simply continued charging at Long Chen without attacking Lai Long. As a result, Lai Long devoured them without any misjivings. The lightning essence it was devouring was the best meat to it. 1800 dragons were pouncing on the lightning beasts in the sky while protecting Long Chen. But even like this, there were too many of the lightning beasts. Many of them still got past the lightning dragons to attack Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber at those. His saber was flickering with five-colored lightning as well. This was the power of Lai Long's true body. If Long Chen was using his own power against the lightning beasts, it wouldn't be this effective, and it would take more spiritual yuan. But with Lai Long's assistance, K 
Killing these lightning beasts was much easier. He killed one with each slash of his saber. When he killed the lightning beasts, they transformed into lightning runes and were absorbed by Lai Long's true body that was still within Long Chen. Its growth rate was even faster than the split bodies, as the split bodies still required a great deal of effort to devour the lightning beasts of the tribulation. After all, each of those lightning beasts was just as large as them. However, Long Chen could destroy them with a simple swing of his saber, and that efficiency allowed Lai Long's true body to grow much faster. Long Chen was handling his lightning beasts without much effort, but on the other side, Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang's expressions were growing unsightly. Each time they attacked one of the lightning beasts, they needed to use a huge amount of energy. But worst of all, when the lightning beasts exploded, the exploding lightning would harm their bodies. Even their souls would feel a prickling pain, making them almost cough up blood. The three of them were soul transformation experts who had already started condensing their Yuan spirits. If they were still in the Jade Core realm, their souls might not be able to bear the impact of this lightning. Seeing Long Chen's expression was so calm as he killed the lightning beasts without the slightest pain, they felt like they might go insane. Although the majority of the lightning beasts were charging toward Long Chen, around 30% of them were still attacking the trio Empyreans. This 30% was horrifying, and the three of them were battered and exhausted. After two hours, Sha Guangyan was the first to start wildly coughing up blood. After four hours, Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang were covered in blood. Having been injured multiple times, their combat power was starting to fall. After six hours, the three of them had reached their limit. They had entered a deathbed struggle. As for Long Chen, he was also covered in blood amongst these endless lightning beasts. There were just too many of them, and he was starting to run out of breath. The people in the distance were watching with rapt attention. They knew the end was coming. Suddenly, the lightning tribulation clouds in the sky began to rumble. They slowly gathered together eventually forming five different colored clouds right above Long Chen's head. This is, the real five colored lightning tribulation people stared in shock at the five clouds above Long Chen. Chapter 1496 A World Destroying Blow Translator Born to be the five clouds revolved rapidly around each other. Lightning surged within like raging waves. The five clouds were like five petals of a flower, with the center right above Long Chen. What the fuck? This is no normal five-colored lightning. This is five-colored world-destroying tribulation lightning. Long Chen, what did you do to anger the heavens so much? Even Dragonbone Evil Moon was shocked. How am I supposed to now? These damn heavens just find me displeasing and do everything possible to kill me, said Long Chen hatefully. Suddenly, the world trembled. The lightning beasts exploded into runes and vanished. In that instant, a pillar of light shot out from the five tribulation clouds and enveloped Long Chen. He felt endless heavenly might lock him down. The surrounding space was frozen, and he couldn't move. As for the distant Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang, they were exhausted and about to collapse. They despaired. The pillar of light also affected them, making it so they couldn't flee. However, at that instant, the three of them were blown away by a strange force. That force was hard, making them cough up blood and feel like their bones would collapse. But they were delighted. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen. In the end, you still lose. Your own trap killed you. Pfft. Yi King Kuang laughed wildly while also coughing up blood. The lightning tribulation had ended up letting them off. Now it was locked onto just Long Chen. That meant that this five-colored lightning still did show some concern for Empyreans. Even before. 70% of the lightning beasts had been targeting Long Chen, with only 30% attacking the three of them. That showed how great the karmic luck of Empyreans was. Even Heavenly Tribulation looked after them. Now as the lightning tribulation prepared for its final blow, it actually sent them out. The three of them had escaped death and were filled with both joy at life and joy at Long Chen's misfortune. Don't worry, Long Chen. Once you die. I'll immediately go to the spirit world and let the rest of the dragon blood legion join you. As for those beauties of yours, he, I'll properly look after them, laughed Sha Guangyan as he wiped off the blood from his mouth. Endless destructive will was gathering within the five clouds. 
That was the will of the heavenly deos. If the heavens wanted someone dead, that person would have no choice but to die. This was the power of the heavens. Will Long Chen really die? If he dies, that means he's not my destined devil star. If he isn't my destined devil star, wouldn't that be a huge joke? Zi Yan looked at the distant Long Chen who couldn't move under the light of the five tribulation clouds. A pained expression appeared in her eyes. The current Long Chen was unable to move, but he had no intention of submitting. He was standing tall, glaring furiously at the tribulation clouds. In this situation, no one could save him. No human could surpass the heavens. But Long Chen was trying anyway. The beautiful woman didn't say anything as she watched. If Long Chen really died to this lightning tribulation, it would truly be a huge joke. She trusted that the divination spoken by the elusive music Immortal Palace's ancestor was correct, but she couldn't imagine how Long Chen would survive this terrifying tribulation. This was a tribulation with no chance of survival. Nothing could save him, not even a divine item. Long Chen, you can't die. You're my greatest investment. Grand Wealth God. Please protect my client. Zheng Wenlong had almost despaired, but he clung on to the slightest shred of hope. Senior brother Long Chen, you can't die. Long Chen, if you die, the world will no longer have a hero like you. Long Chen, you're the miracle of the martial heaven continent. You have to continue your legend. You can't die. Countless youngsters were praying for Long Chen to survive. They stared nervously. Suddenly. The five tribulation clouds stopped revolving and gathered into one multicolored cloud. All the lightning that had been brewing within them was suddenly unleashed. From the distance, it looked like five torrents of lightning had been unleashed, devouring Long Chen. The five torrents blew apart the earth. Lightning runes formed a giant mushroom cloud in the air that rapidly spread. Not good. Sha Guanggayan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang were horrified. They hadn't expected this attack to be so huge. They had already retreated so far away but were still caught by it. The three of them summoned their defenses but were still blown away. Tumbling back across the ground and coughing up blood. Sha Guanggayan's body was covered in cracks. And he almost died. Even from this distance. The three of them almost perished. Then just how powerful was the core of this lightning? It was truly worthy of being a legendary world-destroying tribulation. There was no chance of survival for Long Chen. Once the torrent of lightning was unleashed, the lightning clouds vanished. The sun once more bathed the land with its light. The lightning was gone, and space had stopped shaking. The world was once more warm and clear, but the territory beyond the eastern Xuan city had been reduced to ruins. In particular, there was a bottomless pit tens of thousands of miles wide. The leftover might of the heavens was so terrifying that just looking at it would make a person feel like their soul was being stabbed. That giant hole was like the gaping maw of some fiend. No one dared to make a sound in front of that hole. Long Chen, your little plan of drawing five colored lightning tribulation to kill us was truly laughable. Did you think you could scheme against Empyreans? Mocked Sha Guanggayan as he looked at the hole. Suddenly, the ground split open and a figure charged out of the earth, slashing a black saber at the three of them. That figure was covered in blood, his flesh ripped off. He had practically no skin left and many of his bones were exposed. His face was gone, but that black saber caused everyone to let out startled cries. It's Long Chen, he didn't die. How, how is that possible although they couldn't recognize Long Chen in his current state? Dragonbone Evil Moon's sinister appearance allowed them to easily tell who he was. Sha Guanggayan was the first one to be struck, and he was cut in two at the waist. He didn't even have time to use his broadsword to block. Evil Moon didn't pause after cutting through Sha Guanggayan. It continued toward the shocked Peng Wancheng and Yi King Kuang. The two of them were originally behind Sha Guanggayan, and so they had some time to raise their divine items. But both their arms were broken and they were sent flying. One of Peng Wancheng's wings had been cut off by Long Chen. Damn it, if it weren't for that damn lightning tribulation, I could have killed all three of them with this blow. Cursed Long Chen inside. Right now, he was heavily injured and almost out of spiritual yuan. If it weren't for that, those three would have died. You're complaining when it was all your fault? You actually dared to absorb that five-colored world-destroying tribulation lightning. You really have a death wish. 
Evil Moon's voice contained a new emotion within it. When the lightning had crashed down on Long Chen, at that moment, he hadn't blocked it. Instead, he had opened his body to absorb as much of it as possible. At that time, Evil Moon had truly thought Long Chen had gone insane. Even if someone wanted to die, they wouldn't do it like this. Did he really need to raise his chance of death to 10,000%? However, Long Chen had allowed the lightning to enter his body. Just as his body had been about to explode, he had activated the primal chaos bead, drawing the lightning into the primal chaos space. The lightning had immediately destroyed a large swath of the world trees the instant it entered, but before it could continue rampaging, the primal chaos space shook slightly, and the divine might suddenly filled it. Then the berserk lightning actually went quiet and condensed into a ball. Long Chen had almost died from the impact, but having survived the first wave, he used the life energy in the primal chaos space to heal as he continued absorbing more. The terrifying lightning had only continued for a few breaths time, but the berserk energy had almost destroyed him. If it hadn't been for the vast energy in the world trees, there would have been no chance he could have survived. The lightning that had been drawn in destroyed a large swath of the world trees, but compared to the huge forest of world trees in the primal chaos space, it was nothing. Yet, despite that, all the world trees had withered from how much life energy Long Chen had sucked out. That was how terrifying the lightning had been. Having survived this unservable lightning tribulation, Long Chen had gathered a huge ball of lightning in the primal chaos space. This was his harvest after risking death. Dragonbone Evil Moon didn't know why Long Chen would take such a risk, but Long Chen knew that he had to absorb as much thunder force as possible in order to raise his chances of surviving his next tribulation. Once the tribulation had ended, he had stealthily approached the three of them with his weary body and launched a sneak attack. Yet, he had underestimated the terrifying five-colored lightning tribulation. He had not only exhausted almost all his spiritual yuan, but even the might of the heavenly deos was still present on his injuries, racking his body and causing his power to drop. He had no more life energy to draw out, so he could only bear it. Regretfully, even such a great opportunity hadn't succeeded. Having sent Peng Wancheng and Yi King Kuang flying, Long Chen shot toward Sha Guangyan's upper body. If he couldn't kill three, one was good as well. However, he had only just moved when the broadsword in Sha Guangyan's hand flew out of his control and at Long Chen. Long Chen, your sins are so grave that even the heavens can't handle you. So let this old man do it instead. A cold shout rang out from a distance. Sha Guangyan's elder was forming hand seals, and a blood rune had appeared on his forehead. He was actually controlling the divine item from a long distance. Under his control, the broadsword was flowing with divine light. A huge sword image slashed toward Long Chen. Chapter 1497 Evil Moon Split Space Translator Born to be this broadsword was a divine item and was unleashing its divine might. Now that the heavenly tribulation had ended, the divine items could be activated without worry. Evil Moon called out Long Chen. Don't worry, I'll handle it, replied Evil Moon. The two dragon images on it lit up and an endless air of slaughter appeared. It was truly like an evil dragon had awakened. It left Long Chen's hand and slashed toward the broadsword. Boom. Evil Moon's divine marks lit up, and a frightening power gathered. However, when the two divine items clashed, it didn't cause a shockwave. Instead, a pillar of light soared into the sky and blew apart the clouds. Both Evil Moon and the broadsword were directing the shockwaves of their power upward. If they simply allowed their divine power to explode in all directions, then even Long Chen in his peak state would be killed at this distance, to say nothing of the others. Suddenly, a clear cracking sound rang out that caused the elder controlling the broadsword to cough up blood. A peanut-sized nick had appeared on the broadsword. What? The divine item was damaged. Shocked cries rang out. Divine items were unrivaled existences in people's eyes. However, the broadsword had actually been damaged in the first clash. Divine power exploded from the broadsword, trying to force away Evil Moon. But Evil Moon was like a viper, stubbornly biting the throat of its prey. Long Chen knew that Evil Moon was absorbing the divine essence of the broadsword to replenish its own energy. It definitely wouldn't let such a good opportunity slip away. You too, hurry up. 
That blade is an atrocity. We have to immediately eliminate it. This elder from the ancient family alliance shouted toward the other two peak life star elders. He was shocked to find that no matter how the broadsword struggled, it was unable to escape Evil Moon. Its item spirit was sending him a terrified cry for help. Those two elders made their move at the same time. Yi King Kuang's steel coiling dragon staff and Peng Wancheng's golden halberd flew out of their hands and smashed toward Evil Moon. Boom. Facing two more attacks from two divine items, Evil Moon was forced to divert its attention. The broadsword managed to escape its grasp, and then all three divine items unleashed their divine power at Evil Moon. Three rays of light shot toward it. Black Chi revolved around Evil Moon. Astral wind surged around it as it unleashed its own black light, blocking the attacks of the three divine items. Heavens, just where did that black saber come from? Even without Long Chen controlling it, it protects him against three divine items. Now everyone realized that the true priceless treasure in Long Chen's hand was not the pot but this saber. Countless experts almost went crazy with envy, especially the sect masters. Even as sect masters, they only had ancestral items to maintain their sect's karmic luck. Furthermore, the majority of them didn't even have top ancestral items. As for Long Chen, he was just a little jade core disciple. That pot was able to smash apart other ancestral items. So it had to be at least a peak ancestral item. The strongest type of existence below divine items. And now that Black Saber in his possession was able to block the attacks of three divine items controlled by three peak life star experts. At this moment, the three elders exchanged a look and formed new hand seals. Ripples of light came from their divine items forming a huge light barrier around both Long Chen and Evil Moon. Everyone, Long Chen's mind has been taken over by this evil blade. We need your help. Pass your energy into our bodies so we can seal this evil blade together. We must kill this fiend Long Chen to save the world from calamity shouted the ancient race elder. The three of them had found that their current power was not enough, and they needed everyone's help. However, the people present were no longer as fanatical as they had been at the start. Many of them had become aware of just how serious this problem was. Just before this, when Yi King Kuang had summoned his lightning tribulation, it had been Long Chen who had saved all the commoners here, throwing himself into danger by attacking the lightning tribulation and drawing it away. There were countless people grateful to him. Now the story of a fiend who had destroyed his own sect and had his soul controlled by an evil blade had lost its power. Not everyone was an idiot and not everyone was overcome with envy, although they didn't know the exact details of what was going on behind the scenes. Since Long Chen was someone who would do such a thing to save people who were total strangers to him, how could he possibly do something like destroying his own sect and master? The people who had attacked before had been able to use the righteous excuse of eliminating a scourge of the righteous path in order to cover up their envy and greed. But now, that excuse was clearly groundless. If they really attacked, they would be denounced by others. After all, this was the Eastern Xuan City, and there were countless experts here. No one dared to make a move without considering things properly. When it came down to it, whether it was the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, or the Titan sect, they were unable to represent the Eastern Xuan region's righteous path. The wrong decision here could cost them everything. If they helped and Long Chen was killed, then that was all right. After all, he was dead, and a dead man wouldn't be able to argue about his innocence even if he was innocent. However, what if on the off chance they failed to kill Long Chen? What then? Other than the destroyed Zhuanchen Dao sect, Long Chen also had the support of the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, the Wine God Palace, and even the Huaian sect was doing this worth it or not? I will use my status as the Eastern Xuan region's Pill Towers master and the name of Pill Valley to ask everyone to attack together to eliminate Long Chen. This person is the calamity of the Eastern Xuan region. He has colluded with foreign races to kill fellow humans. His sins are irredeemable, and he must be executed suddenly. An elder wearing the Pill Towers robes appeared. He was the first to come up and pat his hands on the back of the ancient family alliance's elder pouring his spiritual yuan into the latter. My Martial Heaven Alliance also supports Pill Valley's decision. Through our investigation, 
We've confirmed that Long Chen had colluded with alien races to harm the righteous path. The evidence is undeniable, and he must be punished. Another elder flew out of the crowd. He tore off his bamboo hat and came to support them as well. Isn't that the leader of the Eastern Xuan branch of the Martial Heaven Alliance? Chin Mingxin? He. He also supports killing Long Chen. Cried out someone who recognized this elder. Chin Mingxuan was the one with the highest authority in the Eastern Xuan region's righteous path. He had actually appeared. Since the two of them have come, it means Long Chen really is a fiend. We have to execute him. Immediately. Quite a few people flew out as well to pass their spiritual yuan to the three elders controlling the divine items. Having gained the help of dozens of people, the three divine items began to shine even brighter. The huge barrier around Evil Moon and Long Chen locked them in place. There was nowhere for them to go. Long Chen. So what if you escaped the heavenly tribulation? Having done so many heinous deeds, you won't be able to escape this tribulation. Did you think you could escape the trial of righteousness? Death is your only end. Shouted Sha Guanggian's upper body. He had been cut in two by Long Chen's saber at the waist. His upper body had escaped. But his lower body was still within the barrier the three divine items had formed to trap Long Chen. One of Peng Wancheng's golden wings was also within it. And both of them couldn't get them back just yet. Right now, they had no energy left to heal and it took all they had just to not collapse. Yet, they forced themselves to stay conscious so that they could personally see Long Chen die. Long Chen watched as more and more experts arrived to strengthen the three of them. The barrier around him was growing stronger and stronger, and it was also shrinking. However, his expression didn't change. He was covered in blood, and his skin hadn't even recovered. His appearance was very frightening, with several of his bones sticking out. He suddenly shot up and kicked a severed body part. That body part slammed into the formation and immediately exploded on contact. Long Chen. Sha Guanggian roared. Although he had known that there was no way for him to retrieve his lower body and he would need to spend some time to regrow it. Long Chen's action was still extremely humiliating. I'm not interested in two legs and a butt. But I'll accept this chicken wing. I'm quite fond of roasted chicken. Long Chen pulled the golden wing into the primal chaos space. Pen Wan Cheng's chest heaved, and he almost fainted. He had reached his limit, but he still forced himself to stay awake. He had to witness Long Chen's miserable death. You're all framing Long Chen. We refuse to believe Long Chen is such a person. You're intentionally eliminating a genius as more and more experts flocked toward the side of Pill Valley and the Martial Heaven Alliance. Someone finally roared furiously. More and more furious roars rang out, but they were too weak, coming from people with low status. No one bothered with them. By this time, over a hundred sect masters had gone to help. Jung Wenlong stared at those people with a touch of pity in his eyes. He sighed. How foolish. They've sent themselves to the death god. Write down those people's status, names, and sects clearly. My guess is that the old list is pretty much useless now. What Long Chen wanted was this list. More and more experts appeared. But there was still one carriage in the sky that hadn't made a move. That's about enough. We should go. Once I get the list, I'll properly settle the debt from today. Long Chen was weary. Evil Moon was still fine. But he was starting to feel like he couldn't last much longer. Alright. Evil Moon's dragon marks shook. And a faint dragon roar could be heard. Boom. A saber image exploded into existence. Instantly piercing the barrier created by the three divine items. A black light shot into the distance. Vanishing from their sight along with Long Chen. When Evil Moon broke the barrier. The elders wielding the three divine items all coughed up a mouthful of blood. Their faces pale with terror. Chapter 1498 Bad Luck Ghost Translator Born to be although the three divine items had over a hundred life star experts supporting them. When Evil Moon unleashed its divine power, it still pierced through their barrier and escaped with Long Chen. When the barrier broke, the three peak life star experts received an intense backlash and coughed up blood. The other experts that had supported the formation also turned pale from the backlash. But it wasn't as severe. That black saber is even stronger than we expected. But why would such a terrifying weapon listen to Long Chen's orders? The beautiful woman softly muttered as she looked at the distant battlefield. Master, 
If you had interfered, then with the power of the seven string C suppressing zither and your half step nether passage cultivation base, Long Chen definitely wouldn't have escaped, said Zi Yan with a complicated expression. The woman was startled. Girl, you even calculated against your master? You don't need to overthink things. You are the future master of the elusive music immortal palace, and you aren't able to escape your fate. While Long Chen is still a righteous hero, you aren't able to kill him, and as your master, I can't either. He is your devil star, and there is karma between you two that must be settled. You can't kill him because he hasn't turned completely evil yet. But did you not see that evil blade listen to Long Chen's orders? The two are clearly connected, and perhaps there will soon come a day when he is completely infected by it or the woman suddenly shut her mouth, a trace of unease in her eyes. Or what asked Zi Yan? Perhaps I'm wrong, and it sounds funny when I say it out loud, but I feel like it's not the Black Saber infecting Long Chen, but Long Chen infecting the Black Saber. I know it sounds illogical, but Long Chen has never walked the normal path. Anything can happen with him. Zi Yan, your primal chaos manifestation has reached its initial awakening. Although it hasn't fully formed, it is easy for you to suppress other Empyreans. Now is your best chance to kill Long Chen. You've also seen how frightening he is. Even the five-colored world-destroying tribulation lightning was unable to kill him. He is a divergent suddenly. The carriage quivered, and countless runes lit up before it returned to calm. The woman smiled faintly. You see? The word was sensed by the heavens even with the formation to block them. Long Chen definitely isn't an ordinary person. As your master, I know why it's so difficult. You can't attack a good person, but as your master, let me warn you that when Long Chen becomes a devil, you cannot be soft-hearted. This is your fate, as well as your responsibility. Her expression gradually grew grave. Zi Yan lowered her head, tightly clenching her robes. Because she was clenching so hard, her fingers turned a bit white. Her expression was pained. She couldn't understand why fate would arrange for things to happen like this. Why did she have to be enemies with Long Chen? Seeing her appearance, the woman simply sighed. No one understood Zi Yan better than her, but some things were unavoidable, and they had to be faced head on. Comforting someone with lies was meaningless. The woman ordered the magical beast pulling the carriage to turn. They were preparing to leave when the carriage was suddenly surrounded. The people surrounding them were the three elders of the ancient races, ancient family alliance and the titan sect following them, the others also came, blocking their path, who are you, why did you refuse to show yourself from start to end, are you someone who can't see the light of day, or are you with Long Chen, shouted the expert from the ancient family alliance, his tone was extremely hostile, he was Sha Guangyan's great grandfather and the master of the Sha family within the ancient family alliance, he was someone with quite a high status in the ancient family alliance. Now he had a belly full of fire. The divine item he had inherited had been permanently damaged by Evil Moon. The nick that was cut into it would never heal, and the item spirit would require hundreds of years of nourishment to recover from the impact. Now its power had sharply dropped. This carriage had been silent here the entire time, with the ones inside never revealing themselves that now caused the others to feel resentful. If the ones inside this carriage had also come out to suppress Long Chen, then perhaps he wouldn't have escaped. So their anger was now being released on this mysterious carriage. Immediately come out and explain everything, or don't blame us for not being courteous demanded Yi King Kuang's master. His posture looked like he would immediately attack if they didn't comply. Now, Three divine items in the hands of three top experts were pointing at the carriage. The terrifying divine might made the magical beast pulling the carriage quiver. Zi Yan had a disgusted expression. Unable to hold back Long Chen, these people now cast their anger on them. It was absolutely shameless and ridiculous. Master, the elusive music Immortal Palace's mission to protect the Martial Heaven Continent refers to protecting people like this, demanded Zi Yan. The woman shook her head. Our mission is to protect the life of the Martial Heaven Continent, which refers only to existences which can threaten the Martial Heaven Continent. That mission has nothing to do with people like them. Although that was what she said, her expression was also unsightly. These people's actions were truly loathsome. 
Although the elusive music Immortal Palace stood aloof from worldly affairs, this was just that irritating. Zi Yan nodded and coldly shouted to the people outside. We were just passing by. We came to see what was happening. Is that not all right? Zi Yan had no good opinion of these people, especially that Ji King Kuang. He had drawn heavenly tribulation and almost killed all the commoners in the city. He was human scum. To have raised such a disciple, the master couldn't be that much better. In order to show their power, he was fine with doing anything. That arrogance was one that didn't care about anyone else. You came to watch? What a joke. Hurry up and get out. Don't make me force you, shouted Yi King Kuang. Upon hearing a woman's voice, he was very surprised, but that just gave him more confidence. At this moment, the door to the carriage slowly opened, and a beautiful woman walked out. Zi Yan was originally a peerless beauty, but after cultivating the music Tao, there was now an ephemeral air around her, as if she was a fairy who didn't consume the food of the mortal world. However, this fairy was now icy-faced, showing her mood. The woman inside the carriage shook her head and didn't stop her. She knew that Zi Yan was aggrieved at the world from having to accept her fate. Just as she had to deal with that, this group of idiots came to find trouble with her. Zi Yan's appearance shocked everyone. They had never seen a female cultivator with such an air. Yi King Kuang in particular almost began to salivate. You shouldn't go too far. As I said, we were just passing by, said Zi Yan coldly. We? So there are still people inside the carriage? Have them all come out, demanded Yi King Kuang's master. I've already said that you shouldn't go too far. We were just passing by and had no responsibility to help you. Now we're leaving. Zi Yan moved to return to the carriage. HMPH, I suspect you're Long Chen's companion. Take a trip back to the Titan sect with me, demanded Yi King Kuang, suddenly lunging towards Zi Yan. Having rested. He had recovered about a tenth of his energy. Seeing a peerless beauty like Zi Yan actually ignore him. He wanted to capture her and bring her back to the Titan sect he was already smitten with her beauty. Impudence Zi Yan's expression sank. With a wave of a single hand, rainbow light condensed into a vine that whipped Yi King Kuang across the face. The skin of Yi King Kuang's face split open, and the wound was so deep that people could see bone. The vine had a strange power on it that threw him into the distance. What everyone couldn't help being shocked. Yi King Kuang was an Empyrean, but he was easily blown away. Slot, you're asking for it. Yi King Kuang roared like a berserk beast. His primal chaos manifestation appeared once more, and he flew at Zi Yan. As a result, the other side of his face was viciously struck as well, and he was blown away. This is, shockingly. A primal chaos manifestation had also appeared behind Zi Yan, but her manifestation had some vague figures within it. Although they were unclear, it was different from the primal chaos manifestation of other Empyreans. Who are you? demanded Yi King Kuang's master upon seeing Zi Yan's manifestation. You aren't qualified to know who I am, said Zi Yan frostily as she returned to the carriage. The magical beast prepared to pull the carriage away, courting death. You dare act so arrogant Yi King Kuang's master roared furiously. Yi King Kuang was his disciple, and he loved him dearly, to the point that he pampered him endlessly. He was naturally infuriated that Yi King Kuang had been struck in the face twice by someone else. The steel coiling dragon staff lit up and smashed toward the carriage's magical beast. Although he didn't know Zi Yan's origin, he knew she wasn't an ordinary person. Rather than attacking Zi Yan, he attacked her magical beast. The twang of a zither rang out, and a streak of light came from within the carriage. It looked like an ordinary piece of string as it swung through the air and at the steel coiling dragon staff. Boom. The steel coiling dragon staff was blown into the distance, while the elder's arms exploded into bloody mist. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. The magical beast pulling the carriage rushed away, and it along with the carriage vanished from everyone's sight. The seven string sea suppressing zither? They were from the elusive music Immortal Palace. The three elders were absolutely shocked. Chapter 1499 If you come out to play, there will always be a prize translator. Born to be Long Chen had left despite a barrier created by three divine items and over a hundred life star experts. Zi Yan had also left with her carriage. 
Yi King Kuang's master had tried to block her, only to be almost killed by a single sound of a zither. Everyone was filled with shock. Zi Yan's attack had come and ended suddenly. They felt it to be over before it began. Yi King Kuang had two deep cuts on his face, and the heavenly Tao energy within his injuries made it so he couldn't heal them. He could stop the bleeding, but his wounds refused to close. Many people didn't know what had happened or who that person was, but they heard two names be repeated over and over again. The seven string sea suppressing zither and the elusive music immortal palace. The three elders from the ancient races. Ancient family alliance. Titan sect. The master of the pill tower. And the martial heaven alliance's eastern branches master all had extremely unsightly expressions. The appearance of the elusive music immortal palace was shocking but it wasn't particularly important. The elusive music Immortal Palace was a transcendent power and wouldn't quibble with them over what had happened. However, Long Chen's escape made their hearts clench. They had all seen how terrifying Long Chen was. The five of them glanced at each other and then vanished from sight. Clearly, they had gone somewhere to discuss this in further detail. As for the experts that had attacked Long Chen, their faces were also extremely unsightly. They all felt like a disaster was about to befall them. Only the youngsters in the eastern Xuan city sighed with relief. That battle had been amazing to watch. They finally learned what it truly meant to be unrivaled, to be arrogant, and to be domineering. Zheng Wenlong also sighed. He looked at his palm and bitterly smiled. His palm was covered in sweat, and even his back was drenched in it. The slightest breeze made him feel cold. Make sure there are no mistakes with the list of people who attacked Long Chen before and after the tribulation, said Zheng Wenlong before retreating to a private room. His people immediately nodded and left. Zheng Wenlong shook his head. Looking at the ceiling, he sighed. The eastern Xuan region was about to be thrown into chaos. Space shook as a black light fell to the ground. This was a wild mountain range. Dragonbone Evil Moon had simply randomly chosen a place to teleport to. Thank you. Long Chen sat on his butt. But as soon as he did, he clenched his teeth from the pain. His entire body was covered in injuries. Just sitting made him feel like needles were stabbing him. But there was no way around this. He had no energy left to stand. And at least sitting was a bit less painful than lying down. No need to thank me. The price of this transportation was paid by that stupid sword. Said Evil Moon indifferently. I'll pay you back for this. Long Chen nodded and put Evil Moon into the primal chaos space. Long Chen didn't know what exactly he felt toward this evil weapon. He couldn't trust it, but at least his cooperation with it was going swimmingly. However, he still had to be on guard toward it. He couldn't let it invade his mind while his desire for slaughter was at its strongest. If he allowed his desire to kill control him, he would become Evil Moon's puppet. With his character, he definitely wouldn't trust such a thing. He wouldn't even keep such a thing by his side normally. While Long Chen was dependent on Evil Moon, Evil Moon was also dependent on him. It needed him to undo the Sovereign Seal. Sovereign Yun Shang had taught him the way to undo the seal. In other words, in this world, no one but Long Chen could help it undo its seal. Without undoing the seal, no matter how much divine essence it absorbed, once its power surpassed a certain limit, the seal would prevent it from growing any stronger. Most importantly, as soon as Evil Moon did anything harmful to Long Chen, the seal would automatically activate. So while it could use some energy to handle enemies, it couldn't do anything to Long Chen. The only exception was that it could infect him with its own desire for slaughter. That would make it easier for him to be lost in his hatred and killing intent. Dragonbone Evil Moon was something Sovereign Yun Shang had left for Long Chen. Otherwise, if he had obtained it through normal means, Long Chen would have attempted using the primal chaos bead to erase Evil Moon's item spirit and create a new one. However, he trusted that Sovereign Yun Shang, who had managed to see a corner of the future and thus decided to leave Evil Moon to him, had to have his important reasons for leaving him Evil Moon. So his relationship with Evil Moon was very strange. They weren't companions but weren't necessarily enemies. They were simply collaborators. Evil Moon needed to make up for its lost divine essence after being sealed for so many years, while Long Chen needed its help as well. Evil Moon, what level of weapon is this pot? asked Long Chen. According to your standards, 
It was originally a scrap ancestral item, which was later forcibly strengthened with a divine mark. However, its innate body is too low quality, so it can only count as a peak ancestral item. Despite its divine mark, it is unable to reach the level of divine items, answered Evil Moon. Long Chen sighed inside. That was about what he had expected. This pot was something that the elder had simply randomly branded with a mark. Only then had it undergone its transformation. However, that wasn't enough for it to be counted as a divine item. However, this pot had saved his life many times. He couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed over this. Just at this moment, the pot sent Long Chen a message. It asked him to let it go. Its meaning was that it could no longer help him out that much, and it hoped for him to return its freedom. It wished to return to the Four Nations ancient remnant, as it had profound emotions for that place. You can stay with me. I don't need you to do anything, said Long Chen. He didn't want to part with the pot. After all, it had helped him out so much. He felt very grateful for it. The pot's item spirit had been in slumber for so long. Now not long after it woke, it actually wanted to leave. That made Long Chen feel a kind of emptiness in his heart. The pot didn't reply. After a moment, Long Chen pulled the pot out of his spiritual space. There were still marks on it left by the Blood Kill Hall's expert. It hadn't fully healed yet. Thank you. The pot sent him one last message before turning into black ray of light that vanished into the sky. Seeing the direction it went, Long Chen felt disappointed and frustrated. He knew that the pot had always been thinking of its old master. The pot had been created as a record of that expert's childhood, and it had extremely thick ties to its master. Rather than forcing it to stay with him, it was better to return its freedom. These human emotions are so senseless Evil Moon snorted with derision, but its voice contained a trace of emotion. Perhaps it didn't even sense that itself. Now Long Chen's primal chaos space only had the blazing dragon cauldron and the heaven-flipping seal that had been in slumber this entire time. This brick's not bad. It's much stronger than that pot. Once it wakes up, it will be able to help a bit, said Evil Moon. Long Chen was startled. Evil Moon could actually see his spiritual space, but when he thought about it, considering how terrifying an existence it was, that wasn't too strange. Now Long Chen felt even more anticipation for the day when the heaven-flipping seal woke. Evil Moon was extremely disdainful toward other weapons, so for it to say that the heaven-flipping seal was not bad was an extremely high evaluation. However, the heaven-flipping seal was still in slumber. Some fluctuations were coming from its item spirit, but Long Chen couldn't disturb it. He needed it to wake up naturally. It wasn't possible to make an egg hatch faster by breaking the shell yourself. Only when it woke naturally would it truly be perfect. Pulling his mind out of his spiritual space, Long Chen looked into the primal chaos space. All the world trees had completely withered. The final blow of the five-colored lightning tribulation had truly been powerful. If it hadn't been for these world trees, it was unknown how many lives he would have lost. Still, the greater the danger, the greater the gains. There was a thousand mile, five colored lightning sphere in the primal chaos space now. This was the treasure he had gained by risking his life. But at the moment, Lai Long had no energy to absorb it. It was busy digesting all the thunder force it had absorbed itself. Its 1800 split bodies had returned completely full. It was so full that it needed to focus on digesting what it had eaten before eating any more. He, it was all worth it. Long Chen smiled proudly. Perhaps no one else in this world dared to be as crazy as he had been. This danger had definitely been worth it. Lai Long was his greatest trump card against heavenly tribulation. The stronger Lai Long was, the greater his chances of surviving his next tribulation. Once Lai Long absorbed this lightning sphere, then even ignoring how much stronger it would grow, just the fact that it could temper Long Chen's body with five. Colored lightning constantly would greatly increase his body's resistance toward lightning. He wouldn't have to be so passive during his next tribulation. Although he hadn't managed to kill even one of the three Empyreans, his gains were so great that he was extremely satisfied. This time, his injuries were so severe that it took him half a month to fully recover. Fortunately, Lai Long had absorbed all the destructive power lingering on his injuries. 
or it would have taken half a year to recover. He was now healed and recovered, but the world trees in the primal chaos space were all lifeless. Reviving them would take a lot of time because he had no magical beast corpses anymore. Without the support of the world trees, he would have to be a bit more careful. Long Chen took out a jade plate, and many words appeared on the plate as he scrolled through it. This was a communication jade from the Huai insect. The information on it was precisely what he needed at the moment. If you come out to play, there will always be a price. Now it's time to pay your debts. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. He vanished from this wilderness. Chapter 1500 The Revenge Begins Translator Born to be Heavenly River Valley It was a huge river valley located in the eastern Xuan region's western side and slightly northward. There was a vertical waterfall dozens of miles tall. It was like a river of stars was pouring down, which was why it was called Heavenly River Valley. Heavenly River Valley wasn't just a location. It was also the name of a sect Heavenly River Valley had been created 8700 years ago. Although its history wasn't that long, amongst sects that had been created in that era, it was well known. Having 8000 years of history, Heavenly River Valley had hundreds of thousands of disciples and dozens of minds. They possessed both great power and wealth. Compared to the decline Zhuanchen Dao sect when Long Chen had joined, it was many times better. 600 years ago, Heavenly River Valley had had some conflicts with the Zhuanchen Dao sect of course. The cause of this conflict was due to profit. Heavenly River Valley had established their own mine on the border of one of the Zhuanchen Dao sect's mines. They had brazenly snatched the Zhuanchen Dao sect's resources. After a battle between them, through the Martial Heaven Alliance and Pill Valley's mediation, they decided that since Heavenly River Valley was closer to the mine, based on territorial rights, the Zhuanchen Dao sect had overstepped its bounds by mining here. However, this mine was extremely old. In fact, it was even older than Heavenly River Valley. In other words, this mine had been here before Heavenly River Valley had even been established. It was just that mining this ore was very difficult, and the Zhuanchen Dao sect didn't have the extra manpower to put too much energy into mining it quickly. They could only mine it in the easiest, most efficient manner. As a result, Heavenly River Valley had set their sights on it. Through this mediation, the mine was taken by Heavenly River Valley. In name, they were to compensate the Zhuanchen Dao sect with some resources. But in comparison to the mine, that compensation was nothing. Afterward, Heavenly River Valley had become another member of the powers suppressing and bullying the Zhuanchen Dao sect. They went against them in every possible way. As for the Valley Master, he had participated in the attack against Long Chen in the eastern Xuan city at the beginning and also joined the others to capture him after the Heavenly Tribulation. Over half a month had passed, and the valley master kept himself locked in his calm room, but he didn't manage to calm down much at all. He felt like there was a fire in his heart torturing him. Long Chen had managed to escape in the battle of the eastern Xuan city. The instant that had happened, the valley master's heart had risen into his throat and never gone back down. He spent each waking moment praying for Long Chen to succumb to his heavy injuries and vanish from this world. With each passing day he felt worse. He was filled with terror, afraid Long Chen would come to find him. Just as he was sitting uneasily, an explosive sound came from outside, and his room quivered. At the same time, the voice that he had least wanted to hear rang out. The Zhuanchen Dao sect's Long Chen is here. If you don't want to die, then hurry up and scram. If you want to reincarnate, then come quickly. The valley master charged out of his secret room and into the plaza. He saw Long Chen holding Dragonbone Evil Moon up in the air, overlooking Heavenly River Valley's experts like a devil god. Long Chen, you the valley master had just opened his mouth when Long Chen's saber slashed down. He wasn't aiming at the valley master but a statue. That was their ancestral statue. Despite the protective formation, it immediately exploded, revealing the divine spring below. That was Heavenly River Valley's spring of karmic luck. The heaven and earth divine spring was almost always placed below the ancestral statue, or if the sect worshipped a god, it was beneath the statue of their god. Through thousands or even tens of thousands of years, the devout actions of the disciples would condense faith energy that strengthened the divine spring. This heaven and earth divine spring was an extremely mysterious existence. 
Everyone knew that it was the foundation of any sect, and once it was destroyed, a sect would quickly decline. The sect would definitely vanish within a hundred years. You fiend Long Chen, what do you think you're doing? demanded the valley master. Long Chen was completely destroying Heavenly River Valley, but while he roared furiously at Long Chen, he didn't dare to charge out. Not only him, none of Heavenly River Valley's experts dared to charge forward. They all knew who this person was. Probably there was no one within the Eastern Xuan region who wouldn't recognize this black-robed man with a black saber on his shoulder. It was because they knew who he was that they didn't dare to charge forward. They all knew that if they did, there would only be one conclusion for them. Death. Long Chen didn't say anything else. He waved his hand, sucking away the divine spring and putting it into his mind see for the divine gate star to absorb. Gong Wang Xiao. Today I didn't kill one member of your heavenly river valley, but heavenly river valley will no longer exist in this world. The enmity between us has been settled. If you don't want to accept this, I will face your challenge at any time, said Long Chen toward the valley master. Long Chen knew all the information of heavenly river valley's inheritance, the cultivation bases of their experts, the name of the valley master, and more. This was information Zheng Wenlong had given him. These were not business secrets. Even without the Huaian sect, Long Chen would have been more than capable of asking around about this. So Zheng Wenlong hadn't betrayed the Huaian sect's rules by giving him this information. Long Chen looked over these people. These people were either terrified, infuriated, or resentful. But not one of them dared to attack. If no one's going to attack, I'm going to leave. Your heavenly river valley is the ninth sect I've destroyed. I'm busy, so I won't stay any longer. Long Chen turned and left, vanishing from their sight with just a few steps. The ninth. Originally, they were simply stunned that their divine spring had been destroyed. But now that they heard this number, they were filled with shock. So Long Chen had already destroyed eight sects before them? After a moment of shock, they were simply overcome with a feeling of loss. They knew that Heavenly River Valley was no more. There would never again be a heavenly river valley in this world. Their divine spring had been taken and its foundation destroyed. Heavenly river valley would quickly be met with great misfortune. Not only would their old enemies come to settle their debts, but all kinds of bad luck would appear. Right now, their smartest option was to hurry up and leave. Valley master. The elders turned to look at the valley master. Clearly, they were unwilling to just leave like this. They didn't want to abandon their old glory. We're disbanding. This is all heaven's will. No, this is all because of me. The valley master seemed to age a great deal. His voice was desolate. He was filled with regret. He regretted ever going to the eastern Xuan city. He regretted attacking Long Chen. He regretted listening to the directions of Pill Valley. He even regretted ever being incited by Pill Valley to snatch away the Zhuanshan Dao sect's resources. Now that regret was useless. He thought of when he had received Pill Valley's summons to go condemn the Zhuanshan Dao sect in front of hundreds of life star experts. Long Chen had declared that the Zhuanshan Dao sect was soaring, and anyone who dared to block them would pay a great price. Now he realized that wasn't a warning, it was a promise. Long Chen had used his actions to prove this promise of his, but realizing it now was meaningless. There were no ifs in this world. Open the treasury and distribute all the resources in accordance with people's ranks and merit contributions. Do it quickly. Once the news spreads, all our enemies will be coming. And not only will our treasures be taken, but even our lives will be lost. The valley master simply sighed. The elders could only follow his orders. The treasury was opened, and all the resources they had accumulated over the years were distributed. In just a day, Heavenly River Valley disbanded. The facts proved that the Valley Master was at least slightly smart. There were other sects who didn't have the courage to face reality. They hid the fact that their divine spring had been destroyed. As a result, their enemies gathered together to attack them, plundering their treasuries and creating rivers of blood. In the following days, the entire eastern Xuan region was flipped on its head. Sects were being destroyed with each passing day. Sometimes. Three sects would be destroyed in just a single day. All these powerful sects had grand protective formations and life star experts defending them. They had ancestral items maintaining their karmic luck. 
But in front of that terrifying person, all of this was useless. That person was Long Chen, an existence that was dominating the Eastern Xuan region. On his own, he challenged the sects one by one. If no one blocked him, he would only destroy their divine spring. But if someone tried to stop him, he would mercilessly slaughter them. For a moment, the Eastern Xuan region was filled with panic. The ones who had once been enemies of the Zhuanshan Dao sect nervously waited for their doom. They called for reinforcements, but at this time, everyone was worried about themselves. They had no power left to go help others. People quickly realized that the sects being destroyed belonged to the ones who had tried to capture Long Chen in the end. As for the ones who had attacked Long Chen at the beginning but hadn't participated in the end, they didn't suffer any reprisal. By the time that Long Chen had destroyed over 50 sects, people realized that the ones that Long Chen hated were the ones who clearly knew he was innocent and still acted against him for profit, currying favor to Pill Valley, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Ancient Races, Ancient Family Alliance, and the others. That was what had truly infuriated him, so they all met with terrifying retribution. As for the ones who had attacked him at the beginning but hadn't done anything to him after he had drawn away the lightning tribulation, saving all the commoners, they weren't attacked by him. Clearly, he had forgiven them. All those sects felt a stone fall from their hearts. At the same time, they were won over by his magnanimity. Yet, those sects who had participated in the attack after the lightning tribulation completely despaired. They begged for help from the Pill Tower, ancient races ancient family alliance, and martial heaven alliance, but none of them came to help, they were all strengthening their own defenses in fear of Long Chen coming to them, the ones who had attacked him at the end had all been sect masters or people at their level, their actions represented the attitude of their sects, and his revenge was naturally toward the entire sect some sects wisely chose not to resist, in any case, Long Chen would simply destroy their statue and divine spring, he didn't kill anyone who didn't resist. Many sects fought to the death, but they were annihilated by Long Chen. The more sects that were destroyed, the more sects that directly gave up. The sects that had their divine springs destroyed were filled with resentment. They began to gather together, criticizing Long Chen. Long Chen was being hunted throughout the eastern Xuan region. Several experts possessing divine items banded together, searching for Long Chen.